Hello, everyone. I was muted there. Oops. Hello, everyone. We're playing Class of 09. I've had a lot of recommendations for this game. I've seen it's kind of going around. So, it looks like my type of game. Edgy, chaotic, maybe a little evil. I think we're going to have a good time tonight. And hello, everyone. How are you doing? Thank you for the happy belated birthday. I did plan a birthday stream. Obviously, it won't be a birthday stream, but I do have a longer stream planned. So when we can get to that. Um, <laughs> I had to go off my medication like Emily uh, this uh, week. So, yeah, I don't know. I won't get into the gory details, but... <laughs> We're working on it. While you guys were all out on dates. Exactly. <laughs> like on my birthday, I pretty much just slept all... I've been so tired. I've never slept so much in my life. But I'm sorry. Yesterday I was able to stay awake for a lot longer. So today seems like it's getting better too, so... I got my iron. I have like liquid iron to take. I've been bleeding more than I should be bleeding. If you catch my drift. You're the game has racist stuff in it. Well, I guess we're going to find out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this game's pretty edgy. So there's I. I would just say trigger warning for like anything you can think of. That's edgy. Oh, Oh my god, the new thing! Look! <laughs> oh my god, it's so cute. I have a Christmas version of that. Alert. Months of Bunny has become a Pop Dart Pride member. Happy late birthday. Underscore pop hole colon underscore it pop hole colon underscore it pop hole. <laughs> Brooke has become a Pop Dart Pride member. Almost time to birth our membership baby. What should we name it? I know I need to get my baby alerts ready for the nine month members. So, I think Jesse, I don't know why your thing didn't go off. Did Connor's go off? I didn't see either of yours go off for some reason. We truly AJ has become a Pop Dart Pride member. Maybe it's delayed. But thank you, Jesse. Thank you, Connor, for two months. I think Jesse, you were at eight months. Blep, 20 gifted memberships. Thank you so much. And I'm sure chat, I saw them thanking you. They're thankful as well. We really appreciate that. Munzee Bunny, two months. Thank you for the happy late birthday. Brooke, soon you will birth our baby. And thank you. And AJ, good to see you, AJ been a while thank you so much i appreciate it you guys blep's fueling your memberships blep is very generous incredibly generous basically like if this was the hunger games blep would be my sponsor and would be the reason i would win the hunger games how's the audio got by the way guys am i too loud is the game too loud are we at decent levels i haven't seen anyone say anything so maybe we're good we're going to get started in a moment here. It's good. Wonderful. Thank you, guys. All right. New game. Are you guys ready? Did your alert not go off because you said the word unalive? Oh, uh, did you? It's like your thing didn't even come up on my stream lab. Nat's not here has become a Pop Dart Pride member. One month till sub baby exclamation mark colon underscore it pop ladies. Oh no, another one of my baby mamas. <laughs> Thank you so much, Nat. All right. We are ready. New game. Make no mistake, I'm a sociopath. 
God, that sounded evil. Let's rewind a little. I grew up all over coastal America. House after house after restraining order, everything just kind of blends in. If the divorce rate is 50-50, my mom landed on tails like eight times. So by the time I was 14, right, I moved from seven different houses and attended six different school districts. After a while, you don't see a point in making friends. The vitamin C graduation song, yeah, I can't relate. But then one year, all of that almost changed. For the first time ever, I found myself in a school for two consecutive years, going on three. And then I like started turning ah! into the high school, so the guys hitting ah! on their social leverage was really awesome. Hey, the popular girls would talk to me all the time. <laughs> they were just stupid. Like they'd always been pretty. Never left out. Never alone. And when I think about it, all the we thinking I've ever done was when I was alone. Friends I was forever. nice about it. I thought I'd always be nice about it. Finally in one place to build a steady reputation. And then life said, fuck that. My piece of shit gamer brother got us Avocado evicted for pirating breakbeat mixtapes. It's like not even I good music. Anyway, so mom was crying, Cole packing up the moving boxes. Uh, and, and that's when she told me, Cole we're moving out of state. Pop and I just got face, settled. I said, face. fuck you, I'm living with dad. He's just a neighborhood down. I oh put the boxes God. down, go over, knock on the door, and boom! A oh my God, that scared me. My second Christmas killed himself. I walked in. Floor looked like a whole ass video game, just blood everywhere. And get this, the <laughs> suicide note was stuck to the fridge with a cookie monster magnet. All he wrote on it, Nicole's fault. Damn. I'm Nicole, by the way, hi. What the fuck did I do to him? Maybe I missed the office softball game? Men are so into this revenge suicide thing. Kelly. But whatever, Blevis doesn't just matter. $6 Nothing matters. I'm moving, again, city, county, state, all the same fate. Underscore pop but I've always said that while hole. leaving. This time, it's on arrival. Wow, what an intro. What an intro. Hey, so for the senior prank Signal this year, what if we like park their cars where we don't use whole life story? I can pause now, by the way. I tried to pause so that we wouldn't have a chaotic uh, mess of sound. So sorry when there was. But real quick. <laughs> You wish you could. Should we rewatch the intro? I just like, there's no pause. This is using the Rempi engine, which I like. I'm using it too for my stuff, but couldn't pause in that moment. But now we can. It's fine. Did you guys read it? There was text, so I'm assuming most of you read it. All right. Hans and Franz, thank you. Eight months, long time. Avocado Hut, another eight months. Oh, God. Sydney, also eight months. All the baby mamas are coming out. I'm scared. I blep. Not enough holes for the belated birthday. Thank you, blep. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. All right. So, basically, yeah. The dad on the live, it was her. He said it's her fault, and now she's moving. Perfect. Visual Lair. Er has become a Pop Dart Pride member. It's not your baby. Friend. But it is my baby. It is. Don't lie to me. Thank you, Visual. Alright. Usually park them. Oh my god, that is so funny. <laughs> yeah, math class this year with Mr. Burliday. <laughs> yeah, like fuck Mr. Burliday, dude. <laughs> God, they are never funny. It's like the girls just laugh to avoid sexual assault. Hey, yo, you new to this educational prison? <laughs> wow, yeah, that was funny. Yeah, I'm getting into, like, <laughs> humor and stuff. Anyway, you know anyone around here? Know where your classes are? I mean, kinda. There's, like, numbers on the doors. I think I can figure it out. No, 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 no. I, I could show you around. Like, like a school tour? You want to do that? You up for that? No, thank you. No. I'm a good girl. I'm going to class. Tell him off and cut class. Humor the school tour. No, he's a little too aggressive in wanting to go on the school tour with us. Or doing the school tour. Nope. Nope. I'll cut class, though. I'm going to be honest. You seem like the most boring piece of shit I ever met. Huh? 
Well, wait. Most I've ever met would mean you stand out in some just donated four dollars and ninety nine cents through super chat. OMG, you went away for so long and hexing you. Sad face. Wow, bitch! How dare you? Mar has become a pop star pride member. That phone is a throwback. The phone is a throwback. Yeah, the sidekick. Oh, I love the keyboard is so nice. And then flicking the screen up. Oh, that was so satisfying. Calculator guy. Oh my God. Oh, wait, thank you. I meant to say thank you. I don't know why I started reading the thing when it already read out. Was I not like the other girls? <laughs> you know, I had that little stage in my, I think everyone has that little stage in their life. Probably when I was like more like, I'd say more in junior high than high school though. You know, you have your moments. Don't judge. Stars has become a pop star pride member. Life is strange ass dialogue. <laughs> I like life is strange dialogue. I, I like the cringe dialogue sometimes. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. Way, you're a very run of the mill waste of time. I, I don't get it. What I do? You have time for the whole list? I guess. First, you wear classic rock t-shirts from Walmart. Girls don't compliment how you dress, so you settled for old people high-fiving you for being retro. Nah, people think I'm cool. Rapid fire of assumptions, tell me if I get any wrong. You call your bicycle a BMX, like energy drinks, take pictures of your skateboarding wounds, mention to anyone they can't get addicted to marijuana, and own a guitar pick necklace. Whoa. Wow, don't judge him. Well, all right, I'll, I'll see you later then. Hey, I've seen your ass around here before. It's my first day, you sure about that? Whatever, all you hot girls look the same. That was real discreet. Gotta be, especially cutting under this school security. Uh-huh. Security. And a girl like you skipping the first day? Are you a bad bitch or what? <laughs> I'm an abysmal bitch. <laughs> Fucking cool, rock on. So what do you do here? Like, Julian J has just donated five dollars to Super Chat. I counter the hex with a kin of hex removal spray and redirect it to Jesse. So you're safe now, Poultry Oh my Queen God! Hex. Thank you, thank you, AJ. I appreciate it. That's exactly what I needed. Now Jesse's gonna get the shits or something. Career leading doesn't pay, so no. Well, I'm on the lacrosse team. Last season, we went seven and five, like above 500, not bad. It's my life, pretty much. How can you make lacrosse your life? There's no pro league for it, is there? Well, I'm sure they're out there. Besides, we only lost like five games because I fucked my knee up and couldn't play the rest of the season. Oh my season. God, I don't but care about keep your trauma dumping. Cool, seriously? How much? Enough. Bridget Montwell has become a pop star pride member. Hi Kelly, been watching you since 2015, but I finally stopped being poor and could donate. Also, are you nuts? Are you nuts, bitch? No, oh, thank you, Bridget. I appreciate it. Glad you stopped being poor. Good for you. And thank you. I appreciate it. To demotivate an elephant. I got him right here. You want to do him with me? They only kind of get you fucked up, but it's good. Free drugs, Percocet? What? Nas. Who it? I was not. Those were not Scarlet going around Penguin in high school for me. Scarlett just donated to Australian dollars and 99 cents through Super Chat. His hair looks like a merkin. Kind of hot. <laughs> Thanks, Scarlett. Yeah, the previous guys did. Why? What? Like seriously? Why is Streamlabs donations still so delayed? It's been like a month or more of this shit. Like I hate when they're delayed. Anyways, though, perks. I don't know, you guys. We're gonna. Is he gonna touch us? <laughs> like I don't know if I can trust anyone in this game. <laughs> free drugs is free drugs. I mean, you're right. You're. That's true. <sighs> Fine. Free Percocet? Hell yeah, hand it over. This is actually my Mexican cartel supply, but it probably won't kill you. My feet feel great. I could fall asleep standing right now. Yeah, I told you it was good shit. I'm sorry, are we lost? Both of you should be in class. This isn't a skip period. Oh, fuck. Uh, hey, dude, we were just on our way, you know? 
What are you hiding there? Oh <gasps> shit. Oh my god. Pills? Whose are these? Actually, it doesn't matter. You're both in big trouble. I didn't do it. That's not my pills. Did it fall out of my fucking pocket, bitch? Is this serious? Kelly? What? My has just donated $2 through Super Chat. Ready to hit the mosh pit, Shaka Bra. Shaka Bra. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Not the Shaka Bra. Avoid getting murdered for snitching. Pin it on another guy. Am I really gonna get murdered by fucking. Who's this kid? Where is this? Where are we living? Did it mention where we're living? Are we in motherfucking suburbia? Like, no one's murdering us. In trouble? Fuck you, I'm not in anything. Uh, yeah, you definitely are. But I won't in snitch, because I didn't well, do you're anything. In the model it's train not my fan problem. Club, you freak. I'm not in the Model Train Fan Club. I just sponsored the Model Train Fan Club. That's even worse. You look new here. I'm not sure what you think you're doing, but I can assure you. dollars and 99 cents through Super Chat. Been watching you since 2013. I'm 23 now. Thank you for raising me, mother. You're welcome, and I'm sure you're an incredibly adjusted adult. <laughs> Thank you, Anna. I appreciate it. For you, it won't last long. A bitch can't pop perks here? What the fuck? What if I had glaucoma? But you don't have glaucoma. I do. And you just confessed to drug use on school And why grounds. did we confess? Come with me, both of you. God damn it. Honey. What the fuck is wrong with you? A two-day suspension on the first day of school? It was like one pill. He's just mad I made him feel insecure, so he threw the book at me. Look, I know you're acting out because of your father. Mom, literally no one ever has actively thought, I'm gonna act out today. What does that even mean? I'm gonna look cool by disrespecting my parents. This is a world you and everyone who crochets created. She kinda has a point with that, Bob. You Pause the game. Like this mom acting like she's not on hella prescription pills. Shut the fuck up, bitch. You kinda need to get a fucking job. You're 26. I told you the economy's bad. Blame Bush. And these girls I chat with online fully agree. Mom, still, I can't believe you're taking the school side with this. It's totally against all my citizen rights. They had you sign something that waives those rights. You're 16. Roman, you don't even thank have you. Rights. Hey, well, you do, right? Sue the school or something. Like You're at the only mod. public school for miles and <laughs> damn. Audi's notifications. Thanks, Calculator guys. Guys, become a pop star pride member. Calculator guy, thank you. Bleps and beans, eight months. Bleps and beans. Jace has become a pop star pride member. Ready for a good stream to cure sad vibes. Been here for two minutes and it's great already. Love you, Kelly. Love you, and I hope your sad vibes get to be happy vibes. Percocet vibes. <laughs> Yo, I got so much back in the Call of Duty days when I was like still in college. I got into an argument with someone on Call of Duty voice chat <laughs> about George Bush. <laughs> and like all the George Bush people fucking came for me. In that because I posted the video, I thought it was funny. I thought, oh, fuck him. Like, but yeah, ever they came for me. They fucking came for me. Miles, what happens if you're gone for good, huh? I'm not moving again. I'm not paying for private school, and I'm definitely not homeschooling. Fine, I won't blow it then. I won't squeal a bit. A teacher could just break the shit out of me, but I won't say a word because we gotta stay in this shithole. Good. I'm glad we understand each other. Mom, I could just get assaulted? You wouldn't care? You've been pulling the sexual assault card since you were 12. Hasn't happened yet, has it? That's not the fucking point. Well, you can figure out a new excuse locked in your bedroom for the next two days. Fine. I have my own computer. Grounding doesn't do shit anymore. Hey, baby, you hear this? <laughs> this is some real music. Now join my party chat. We can game. What the fuck are you doing? It's 1 a.m. I go back to school tomorrow. Bro, you're being seriously fail right now. Seriously fail? Those words don't even go together. You sound like an idiot. Look, I'm just recording a little voice message for this hottie I met online that I'm done, okay? Oh, God. <laughs> How old is this hottie you met online? Oh, Drew, I'm so sorry. That's never easy. Hope this stream can bring you a little joy. And Crunk, thank you. Crump has become a pop star at Pride member. Just had to drive home from work in a snowstorm. It normally <gasps> takes me 10 minutes to get home. It took an hour with the snow Dude. crying face. Nah, driving in the snow sucks so much. I was so bad at it. I'm better at it now because I just go super, super slow. But like, 
when I first started driving in the snow. Oh my god, I'm so lucky I didn't die. This is like the fifth hottie in two days. Do you know how old any of these girls are? Like, legal in her country, don't worry about it. Oh my god, this is bad. <laughs> I'm just trying to score some 15 year old <laughs> Canadian ass. Hop off it. 15 isn't legal anywhere. Calling her Canadian ass doesn't make that better. Well, no. You know how, like, Canadian bacon is just ham? C Canadian ass is just a mature 15 year old. See? Same thing. You're. Oh my god. Could you just help me record this message so we can both go to bed quicker? Pineapple Slurp! Pineapple Slurp has become a Pop-Tart Pride member. <clears throat> Hold on, let me do a slurp for you. <laughs> Thank you, Pineapple Slurp. Okay. This game is very, like, it's going. It's fucking going. It's gone. All right. <laughs> Distract him into doing something else. Make him gone for good. What's gone for good? Like, are we gonna murder him? Like, gone for good is gone for good. Fuck it, dude. What's the point? Whatever girl you're hitting up is probably ugly compared to what I could find. You haven't even seen her avatar. She's, like, so hot. Where are you logged in at? I bet I could find a better one. You're on. See? This girl right here. Kinky Kenzie 93 Her bio's, like, <laughs> only interested in older guys, oh, so no. hit me up whenever. Up <laughs> This is like me and my friends. Me and my friends would go on like shockwave.com, which had like games with like chats. And we would just mess with all the creeps on there. Because there's always so many fucking creeps. But yeah, this is, this is sketchy. He's getting set up. They gonna get him. And they should. For anything. Man, she's sexy. She's also 14. Shut up with that ageist bullshit. Oh man, she's just a town over too. I'm gonna message her. What should I say? You're like a legal adult. Shouldn't you know how to do this by now? Yeah, but you're a girl. You know what girls wanna hear? Come on. All right, fine. Um, first tell her you're 26. Girls who like older men are all about that age difference. Okay, what else? Say you wanna buy her drugs and alcohol. And no pussy shit, like full on heroin. I'm sure other guys promise that too, though, right? When guys hit you up, what do they <laughs> never do? Hmm. Oh, at the bottom, type an acrostic poem using your driver's license number. I don't know. But, like, have the message of the poem be about how you don't want to use a condom. Dude, that's like genius. She's gonna so want the D. Wow, he's smart. Literally brain dead. Oh, what do you want? Are you dating site user Heavy D No MC? I, yeah, but I don't know what that has to do with you busted in here. By the way, that's like a sick user name, right? You're under arrest uh, for uh, digital misconduct with a minor. Oh, that Kenzie bitch stitched me out. God damn it. Rest assured, there was no Kenzie. We can talk all about how you fell for a sting operation downtown. I was set up. Honestly, like, we needed to do this because mom was mad at us for uh, getting expelled from school for taking Percocet. At least Hi, our brother's the worst I'm person Emily, now. Oh my and God. I'm jealous of my friends because they go off on dates and I only go off my medication. Hi, I'm Emily Hi. and I'm jealous of my friends because they go off on dates Love is and just I only go $10 off my medication. Hi, Break I'm the brother from 10 to 10. <laughs> Pineapple Fair has become a Pop-Tart Pride member. Wow, one month. Thank you for your videos that basically made me into the where do I am today <laughs> XD. Thanks, Pineapple. I appreciate that. And Blep, rate the brother from 10 to 10. Hmm. Gotta be 10. Damn it. Fucking Nicole. Thank you. You bitch. My first phone call is gonna be a bomb threat to your friends. Take your Percocet, Emily. <laughs> My big mistake wasn't getting suspended, but getting suspended on the first day before meeting anyone. You know I can't look badass when I come back. Hey, Time what's to up? Smoke I haven't my seen you around for a couple days. Fuck off and die. Well, uh, uh, all right. Hey, you don't look familiar at all. Are you new here? Why do I feel like that guy might actually be nice? Maybe he's actually nice. I don't know if anyone's nice in this game, though. Like, yeah. Hmm. Here, kinda. I'm back from a two-day suspension. It's the third day of school. 
I don't beat Shut around the, the bush. Shut the fuck up, you fucking bitch. Shut up. How dare you just don't. Just don't right now. I'm going through a lot. <laughs> Rhonda McHale has become a Pop Dart Pride member. Oops, you have to pause again. Love you, Kelly Pop Tart Pride. Pop Tart? <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. One month. <laughs> You're cool as shit. What's your name? Call me Nicole. Okay, she's hey, nice I'm Jeffa. now. So, how do you know Crispin? Who's Crispin? That guy you were just talking to? Oh, guitar pick necklace? Both days I've been here, he's tried talking to me. I have no idea who he is. Pause. How do you guys feel about the name Crispin? He's kind of nice. Really? I wonder Avocado Hut has just donated 10 Canadian dollars through Super Chat. Fun Canadian fact. The game is right for our age of consent before 2009. The government raised it to 16 because kids were hooking up with adults from online chats. Frowning face. Oh, damn. What was it before? Be surprised if he burned down a convenience store. Wait, yeah. and thank you, I appreciate it. Sorry, I didn't say thank you. Where did my manners go? He's nice. I'll tolerate just about anyone after being locked up with my brother for two days. Oh, is he younger? Into really loud, violent video games? Close. He's 26 and into really loud, violent video games. Oh, that's tragic. He lives at home still? Yeah, he's never even attempted couch surfing. Can he get, like, a boyfriend to live off or something? No, he's not gay. At least not that kind. And then can he, like, turn gay and get a boyfriend to live off? Fucked up. I asked that exact same question, and all he said was, bottoms don't top FPS leaderboards. Oh, so he's, like, really into video games. Is he one of those guys that, like, end up on the news for messaging kids? Yeah. Last night, he begged <laughs> yeah. a 15-year-old for naked he pictures. Is. Oh, my God, he's that guy. Is he in prison yet? Uh, we'll see. Probably. Hey, I'd love to hang around more, but I gotta get to class. He will be. Where are you headed to? Ooh, gym class or photography? Hmm. Let's see. Photography. Gym class. Gym class, we get to do squats. We get to show off our ass a little. Photography, we could also do a little pose. Hmm. Oh wait, this this is like not is this a it's like an anti visual novel anti dating sim. I don't know if I'm supposed to be throwing off my goodies trying to get people. All right, you know what? I'm going gym class. I'm going gym class. Look, it's the first day. No funny guys. No comedians. No bringers of the ha ha. Okay. This year's gym class isn't last year's gym class. We're gonna really buckle down on physical fitness. I'm fit as fuck. I ain't buckling shit. <laughs> <laughs> Young lady, what's your name? Nicole. You want my phone number too? Oh. <laughs> this is only the first class, Nicole. You won't be a problem all year, will you? Yeah. No, sorry. Good. Now everybody better dress out every class. If you don't, it's a zero. Hit the locker rooms. I'll see you back here in ten. <laughs> Random blurry kid in the background. Go to locker room and change. Gym sucks. I'm sitting out. Let's get on our cute gym uniform. Hopefully cute. Where the hell did I put the shirt? Why does it even need the school logo? I'll just bring my own shitty shirts. Having trouble, Nicole? Um, ah! Saw you were lagging behind. I thought you might need a spare shirt. Ah! <laughs> ah, fire! 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 Oh, thanks. Stop looking. Now, please. You know something? You're feisty. I like that in my female students. I got a feeling you like something else in your female students, too. Oh, wait, we could set him up, too. Like, we fucked up. We got our brother <laughs> taken away by police. You know, what if we play along a bit and get the gym teacher? Kelly. Uh, I mean, he should already oh, hey, be has just donated in trouble for this. But. Cents through Super Chat. Canada age of consent was 12 until 1892. Wow. It was raised to 14 until 2008. Now it's at 16. 1892. Damn. 
That's crazy. So should we laugh? So should we, uh, you know, play? You know what? We're hooking up with the gym teacher. Fuck it. We get him in trouble too. See, you just snap back like that. I like it. It's sexy. You are saying this to a 16-year-old in the girls' locker room. Come on. What's age? Look at you. You're mature enough. Ah! <laughs> you were a pedophile. <laughs> Scream as loud as you can. I've been screaming, so really I should choose that one because I screamed at least three times so far. But, see, I would click this, but do we get him in trouble in the end? Oh my god, I feel horrible clicking it. Oh. Ah! Ah! I guess, yeah. So ah! What's up? Just wanted to chat with a pretty girl. About? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I just like looking at you. Why do girls say they like older men? You're just as boring as younger men. True. I could show you a fun time a lot of these high school boys couldn't. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And I'll prove it, too. Hang out by the back entrance and I'll pick you up after school. First, I'm, you're going to need to wait because I have a shopping list. This motherfucker needs to buy us some shit. All right, get sexually harassed by someone your own age. <laughs> Date your gym teacher. But do we get us like get him in trouble for it? What do they mean by date? See, the humoring part didn't end up being that bad. I mean, obviously it's still really bad, but like, I didn't know how much we were gonna humor him right there. <laughs> like, can, yeah, exactly. Can we set him up, or are we like full on gonna date him? You have money to spend on me, right? See? Like at least a couple hundred? Oh, I got more than a couple hundred. Like, 370. Shit, I'm just a kid. That's a lot for me. Let's do it. Sounds like a date, Sexy. Can I call you Sexy? I mean, the news would call me a victim, but what do they know, right? Anyway, I'll see you tonight, man. Nicole, Nicole, could you call me Coach? That adds another see hundred tonight, dollars coach. to call me that. <laughs> Dave and Buster. So, uh, how's your drink so far? My non-alcoholic Sprite is just wonderful. This date kind of sucks so far. Could you get me high or something? You want a sip of my screwdriver? Sure, thanks. Can I have some just more? Just go get me a some drink. More? Sure, how many? How many sips would equal four glasses? I can't have you stumbling out of here wasted. People would start suspecting something. I'm one-third your age. That ship's sail, coach. I know, it's such a rush. You feeling it, too? Ah! Um, sure. So can I have money? Where's my Not money, so fast, bitch? Sexy. I was thinking you could come back to my place to collect. Uh, make a scene. Fuck yeah, I'll go home with you. You just turned an A for the year, young lady. Hey, why don't you put your hand on my thigh? Give me a preview. Here I we go. I skin on them smooth and tight. Everything's tight when you're 16. Ah! Oh, that's nice. Of all the students I've dated, you're my ah! favorite. Ah, get your hand off my leg! Help! Stop! What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Sir, back away from the girl. What's the problem Help. here? This is my gym teacher. He just started getting all sexual out of nowhere. Is this true, sir? No, well, well yes, but... Uh, they have the gym teachers do sexual education now. What's eating ass no, have they to do, do with sexual education? Ah! Oh. Oh, yeah. Is that true? Did you tell her to eat your ass out? No, I wanted to eat hers. Ah! I mean, uh... Sorry, officer. That was just a false alarm. Oh, thank God. He just said he wanted to come all over me. No big deal, right, coach? Ah! What? Well, coach, <laughs> the only place you're coming is downtown. Whoa. You fucking bitch. I'll, I'll kill you and, you and your whole family, too. Do hey, me man, a I favor. Got you, arrested. you don't got to do me that favor. Oh. She stole my joke. Tell, I'm not gonna tell me. Tell you what? Mikina Stout has become a Pop Tart Pride member. <laughs> I am trying to play a game and literally had to put my controller down to watch this insanity. <laughs> Thanks, McKenna. Yeah, that was pretty wild, but we got the job done. I pulled it off. I'm getting everyone arrested for being predators. We're doing a good job getting all these fuckers off the streets. We are an icon, yes. But the unfortunate thing is that we did not get any money 
and GoFundMe doesn't exist yet, so we can't even go down that route. So, you know, that sucks. But we got some predators off the street. You know what? Everyone's texting about what happened at the barcade yesterday. That's what they call those places? Men will invent any phrase to make their video games less embarrassing. So it is true. What happened? Did Coach promise you a good grade or something? First of all, how does anyone even know I was there? I didn't file any charges. Some guy who goes here snapped a picture of you at the table with him. Wow, a real vigilante. No, he just does that for his private collection of girls who go here. You getting caught with a gym teacher on camera was pure coincidence. Okay, well, I kind of baited him into harassing me. Nicole, that's fucked up. What if you get harassed for real one day and no one believes you because of that? Oh, yeah, I guess a date with- Bitch! <laughs> it was irrelevant. It's irrelevant. It was irrelevant. He, old, me, too young. With your high school gym teacher was a perfectly fine situation. I'll leave it alone next time, thanks. Okay, point taken, bitch. So what, he groped you and someone saw, or...? Well, no, I told him to grope me and just screamed. Oh my god, so that was premeditated on your part. Kelly, Mostly. no. Mario has just so no. many two dollars through Super Chat. Gaslight, gatekeep, girl, boss. Hell yeah, Mar. <laughs> Thank you. We didn't ask for it. So First why'd you... Okay. Did we get a predator off the street or did we not? What is your fucking problem, bitch? You even go out with him in the first place if you knew it'd just end in a shit show. You know, don't have a great answer for that. I just did it because I could. The more I thought about it, the more leverage I knew I had. But he's twice your size. He could have killed you. Yeah, but not when other people were around. The second he decided to date a minor, he lost the game of life. Now he's in jail, lost his job, most of his friends. If he had a family, they'd probably bail too. And if someone tries to put the blame on the minor, they look... Like a monster, exactly. Susan B. Anthony or whoever the fuck got women this far, but I got it from here. Ah, <gasps> Jekka, what is she thinking? So, it's been a few months since we moved. How's school going? Like, academically or socially? Everything, anything. Honestly, it's going pretty good. Oh, that's great to hear. I know moving schools can be hard. And if I cared, it absolutely would be. But mom, I figured out that if you just don't engage with other people's emotions or desires, nothing's a burden. Excuse me? Like, I'll put it like this. Anytime a guy asks for my company, asks me out, asks for anything, and I make decisions entirely for myself not concerned with their feelings, there's no stress. Honey, that sounds a little mean-spirited, don't you think? She's acting like, oh. <laughs> okay, bitch. <gasps> we haven't been groomed in a while, so that's good. Yeah, yeah, that is good. That is good. From what we know, yeah, we haven't. Yeah, well, what's the alternative? Being used to do shit? Pe nah, nah, the mom is full of shit. Yeah. She's awful, too. People, especially men, are the perfect pawns when you don't give a fuck about them or whatever they want. <sighs> I won't argue. I'll just hope you learn how to interact like a human being when you're a senior. So you're telling me it's a requirement for women to be pushovers or sociopathic? What the fuck happened to feminism, Mom? Nicole, I don't know any woman who actively considers feminism. We vote and work. It's just a fun thing to say. Okay, well, fuck feminism. I'm starting Nicoleism. Nicoleism. Yeah, the main concept is girls removing all the emotional attachment from anyone. Oh, I'm sure you'll meet a nice boy soon and you'll be all over this. How can I meet a nice boy when all men are just rapists and pedophiles? True. Is fucking kids nice, mom? <laughs> this conversation is over. Uh-huh. Typical. And so you see... The aperture actually gets wider the lower the f-stop gets. Did I really forget my eyeliner? Ahem. <clears throat> Ahem. <clears throat> Dude, you really need that cough like that. It's kind of annoying. This isn't cosmetics class, Nicole. I know that. So pay attention to the photography lecture in photography class. I'll be done in like two seconds. Just calm down. Now, Nicole. Passive-aggressive eye roll. He can't tell you what to do. You can't tell me what to do. Now nothing. Literally, go fuck yourself. 
How dare you? Tee -hee. How dare you disrupt my lecture? It's disrespectful to me and your classmates. You can't trick anyone here into being mad at me when no one gives a shit about your class in the first place. Well, how would you like a failing grade? How to be honest, like, the teachers kind of interrupt the class. Like, if someone's doing the makeup and you wanted to yell at them, like, then you're the one disrupting the whole class. Just, like, yell at that student individually, like, later or, like, in their grade. You're the one who fucking interrupted shit. I'm an angel. How would all of you like a failing grade? I mean... I guess it's fine. It's an elective. Yeah, Mr. White, you can't keep us from graduating. You tell him, Nicole. Shut the fuck up, you finger skateboard bitch. Dude, I was <laughs> just trying to help. Yeah, you were trying something. How would you like a visit to the counselor's office? The principal's office? Hey, if you think not listening to you talk is discipline, then I'm gone. No problem. <laughs> Out. <laughs> no. <laughs> Tee -hee. We're free. Again, Nicole. Can we just pretend you said a lot of stuff so I can leave early? The principal ordered for you to be in this room for No! Well, I order no mayo at Dairy Queen, but you still see them slapping the shit on. And what do you mean by that? How are you feeling? I'm saying if a whole company like them can't get my order right, then what's one guy like you? Mistakes happen. They can try again after the next soccer practice. I think we got a bit sidetracked here. No, not just sidetracked. I fucking derailed this shit. Talking out of turn in class, bullying classmates, talking back to faculty. Why does that guy sound like the heavy ring uh, psychiatrist as well? He like kind of has that same vibe, that same like talking pace. Is this really the legacy you want to leave here? Hmm. Shed some light on everyone else. It's high school. Who gives a shit? Let's share the tea. Say that to all the guys who go here. It's like a co-ed prison without tattoos. Do you think it's a tad irresponsible to point fingers at others when you're the one in question here? Aren't you Mr. Child Psychologist? Like, trauma and all that shapes who we are? Well, yes, I have several degrees in pediatric psychology. What's your point? Every dude here is like a rapist or mm -hmm. drug addict or trying to turn you into a drug addict. Have you tried stopping the problem at its source? I understand some of the male students here can be problematic, but you can always get help from a teacher or- The teachers are trying to fuck me too. You're all psychotic. A few months ago, Mr. Burliday was really feeling up one of my friends. And just last week, the coach was staring down my shirt during push-up tests. Uh. I try to level with all my students, uh. so can you really blame him? Some of your attire has been quite low cut here. Wow! Go on. To be honest, I've had trouble looking away the entire time you've been here. You're a beautiful young woman. Are you kidding me right now? Where's the hidden camera? What show is this? What are you talking about? Why? You're like acting for a prank show, right? I'm waiting for someone more attractive than you to walk in so I can pretend to laugh. Nicole, th what is this? The fucking Jeffrey Epstein School for Girls? What is this? <laughs> My God. Another one? There's no prank here. Oh, so you're just seriously a pedophile. Awesome. Last year, did we ever have our little chat on social constructs? I'm leaving. That's the school you went to? The Jeff so fuck Epstein photography. Yeah, school for much. girls? Mr. Oh, White no. acts like his class is so goddamn important. We can take pictures with a camera phone. Who even needs a camera camera anymore? Exactly. Men who teach electives get so insecure when they realize they can't stop anyone from graduating. Bitch, be happy anyone even took your class. It's an art course anyway, like doing your makeup's a huge step down. What's up, you whores? Wow. Hi, Kyler. You shit-talking Mr. White? Yeah, he probably deserves it. What do you want? All right, damn. Did you guys get an invite to Kelly's pool party? Oh my god, my pool October. party! No, her parents are like really rich. It's Glasson and everything. Oh my god, yeah, I wish. Yeah, her pool stuff is sick. They got those four-foot-long syringe water gun things. What are you, ten? Whatever. Just a little fun on the side while picking up bitches. I've been here for a year and never once heard of someone having sex with you. I've been here since third grade and haven't heard it. Nuh-uh. Remember freshman year with Jenny Fillmore? She was unconscious. How do you still brag about that? Oh my god! You know the reason they have women's college. Okay, old news, whatever. You have invites or not? Yeah. Me too. How do you get one? You haven't even been here that long. Because I have a nice face and I'm not fat. Okay, well, can I tag along with you guys? This weekend's going to be so boring if I can't go. 
I don't want to be responsible for you ruining the party, but I also don't want to be responsible for you crashing it out of roid rage. Nicole's choice. Fine. Nicole, I know I called you a whore like two minutes ago, but could you let me go with you just this once? Dude, this is this is insane. We are on a roll with the, the fat shaming in games we've literally played like 10 in a row at this point every single game oh my god i feel like the universe is actually shaming me when it's every game like damn all right we don't hang out with rapists on one condition hmm but what's the condition like it really depends what the condition is i do want to go to kelly's pool party uh maybe but you need a conversation starter. Oh, is this We're for gonna bringing him? Oh, bringing you. I read that wrong. Do something impressive this week. Like, like, like put something funny on YouTube. Yeah, actually, not a bad idea. Then everybody can watch it at the party. A video of what, though? You know where photography is? At magazine studios, duh. No dipshit, the photography classroom? Yeah, what about it? The darkroom has a whole bunch of really delicate and expensive equipment. Make a video of you just destroying that shit. Oh, huh, really? What do you think, Jekka? I Jekka. think Mr. White's reaction would be funnier than the video itself, so go for it. Jekka sounds like such a good name for a lizard. <laughs> Dante! It's Dante E has become a Pop Dart Pride member. Hi Kelly Belly exclamation mark colon underscore pop P colon underscore pop ladies. <laughs> Thank you, Dante. I appreciate it. Two months. Jack, yeah, Jack is such a good name for lizard or gecko. Okay, a gecko, like the gecko. Jack of the gecko. <laughs> well, he's... Fine, you <laughs> whatever. Are. See Speaking you there this again. <laughs> yeah, making friends. It's amazing how men will do anything just to see us with less clothes on. Yeah, it's like there's laws for it or something. Jack of the so gecko. So, what are you wearing to Kelly's pool party? Well, summer's over, so no more selling anything. Hello, girls. Going to a pool party in the fall? Oh, no, don't yeah, talk to well, us, please. I don't know, maybe. I can't find anything to wear for it. I could help you out with that. You sell bikinis? Of course not. But swing by my office later, and we can take some measurements for the Home Ex Sewing Club. No! We'll make sure it fits flawlessly to your every curve. No, thank you. Gee, thanks. I'll see you there, maybe. Have a good day at school. Did he just say your every curve? Yeah, is he allowed to say that? What are you guys freaking out about? I think the counselor might have made an advance at me. He literally asked you to go to his office, get naked, and be measured. Yawn. What else is new? What? You've gone here longer than me. How did you not notice? To be fair, he's kind of subtle about it. He's what I call a marathon pedophile. Sorry, but what the fuck is a marathon pedophile? He tries to make you question society's hatred of pedophilia before he actually molests you. Then you'll feel bad if you tell on him afterward. So he guilts I... you so he can make a routine out of it? Exactly. A predator that plays the long game. A marathon pedophile. That's like three levels worse than what I thought he was going to do. Can we just go to the Why pool you party? Why you anyway? For a bikini to wear at Kelly's pool party, he'd have Home Eck make it. Home Eck? What are they going to make? A can I just go to Kmart? I didn't say it was going to do- Kmart was still around back then. Let's just calm down. Let's go to Kmart and get our bikinis and then report that motherfucker. It. But yeah, I'd probably fall apart after a lap in the pool anyway. Excuse me? You planned on swimming at a pool party? What do you do at a pool party? Sit around and look cute. Same. God damn it! Why are they like not you know, high school, not everyone was a predator. It was like every other person was a predator. <laughs> no, I'm joking. He's still using combination locks. The school's soft. No one steals shit anyway. You still aren't dressed? Yeah, they need thumbprint scanners or some shit. It's 2008. Isn't it the future by now? You're gonna be late. Yeah, you guys are all invited to my pool party. No shit. Now, how many spins again? Nailed it. What the fuck? How do you get in here? There's no lock on the doors. Saw it as a great opportunity for an A-plus in street photography. Did your cartoons tell you to do this? Ahem, <clears throat> anime? Why didn't anime tell you to screenshot a cam girl in public or something? Oh, Nicole, if your brain was as big as your ample breasts, then maybe you'd understand. <laughs> I'm sorry, do you think you're cool right now? You're a freak. Not even the sex fiend counselor wants to fuck you. You're maybe that was something I got a lot in high school. 
a lot of you're like dudes my age making like little comments about boobs my boobs but yeah like no I'm, like my school is not like this where everyone's a predator maybe like a decade ago there had been like a sketchy teacher once and they got fired but actually maybe there was one more recently too it was like an eight a teacher's aide or something i don't know what it was some different job <laughs> But yeah, uh, yeah, there were some sketchy guys like my age at, at high, in high school that did some things, but like, it wasn't everyone. This is stressful. This game is a little stressful. It's like every fucking person. I think the point is that like, they're making fun of dating sim games where like, all the girls are like coming on to you really hardcore and are really like way too much, but they just flip the script. Your petty insults will make the development of this photograph all the more satisfying. Cam girls are all cheap digital nonsense. I have captured your succulent figure on medium format film. Every little shadow and highlight of your tantalizing midriff captured the way it was meant to be. If you're gonna sexually harass me, could you not talk like a cartoon character while you do it? Yo, we could have him take pics for our MySpace though. I do what I want with my words. I'll also do as I please with this photo. No, come on, just throw the film out. I'm afraid I can't do that. I think I can Every beat boy his with ass. A crush on you should pay top dollar for these prints. It's you, Maybe Eugene. I can hang a giant poster of it out front, humiliating you the way you've humiliated me time after time. Like this is the reality of how Eugene would actually be in high school dreams. What? Because I called you a future pedophile in chemistry last year? Kate, sorry. Now throw it out. You won't convince me otherwise. Huh. Wait, was I at the wrong locker? What is what? When's the pool party? So, fucked. Totally fucked. Whoa, slow down. It's just a picture of you in your underwear? Like, no nipples or anything? Now that you're asking, I'm suddenly worried one might have been halfway out or something. Does areola count as nipple? That's a good question. Either way, I gotta stop this from being developed. This shit always manages to pop back up in the future. What future? You say you're gonna kill yourself every other day. <laughs> well, I wanna go out as a troubled teen philosopher, not some slut in over her head. Even in death, you're manipulative. Sorry if I don't want my legacy to be freaks jacking off to pictures of me. I would die for half the self-esteem of a girl who just assumes the whole school would jerk off to her. Misty Stream Owen has become a Pop Dart Pride member. Are you nuts? Is this nuts? Are those nuts? Are those nuts? Thank you, Misty. I appreciate it. Eight months. All our eight monthers today. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I think we're basically frenemies. Do you think I could, like, persuade Jeffrey to just trash the negative? Yeah, if you had cat ears. And a tail, and we're basically a cartoon. Oh, yeah, he's fucked up, I forgot. May as well focus on damage control. It's all you can do. I really hope there's a bomb threat tomorrow. <laughs> what is the Yeah, my party? brother was asking this girl out for like three months. Three months? Yeah. Emily! Did he ask really slowly? Okay, let's just get through the first day of the rest of my ruined life. Hey, Nicole. Here it comes. Did you see what happened to the photography room? Oh. Wait, what? There's a big crowd up there. It's all in pieces. All these chemicals combined on the floor, too. It's basically mustard gas. There she is. Uh-oh, got a dip. What's going on? Don't play dumb. It's obvious it was you. Jeffrey's oh given me reason to believe. Is that the principal? Whoa, lady. What? What are you wearing? My eyes. My eyes. Is she going to be a creep too? Is she going to be a creep? You're the one who destroyed the school photo lab last night. Uh, no. I was at home all night mulling over ways to kill myself. In my office. Now. Just want to make it clear one more Bayonetta, time that you have yeah. no evidence of me doing this. Well, unfortunately... 
iconic Apple 123 has become a pop star at Pride member. No, no, here we are also. I heard you loved season 8 of Game of Thrones. No, no, Flushed face. here we are. Season 8? Wait, was did it go to 8 seasons? The last season of Game of Thrones would have been better if it... It just needed to be longer. They needed to, like, stretch it out more. It was just too much. Definitely, the breadcrumbs all lead to you. Trying to stop him from developing his picture of you, albeit unflattering, is not a reason to destroy thousands in school property. Did you completely glaze over the last ten things I said? He took a picture in the girls' locker room. And I assure you, he'll be dealt with soon. But you'll need to learn how to deal with the consequences of revealing attire. Destruction of property is not one of them. I didn't I do the, the mustard gas. You could have been fully nude. It's still unreasonable. Wait, I didn't break anything. Fuck what I was wearing. Out of the tens. Wow, I can't mustard gas everyone because something happened to me. Ugh! Students we questioned, no one else had anything close to resembling a motive. We'll go ask ten more. Hey, Miss Lynn, sorry. Just got to school. I'm signing in late again. In the middle of something here. Oh, with the student? Nicole? Hey, I did the video. You better make good with that pool party plus one. What video? Uh, you don't remember? If I posted a viral video, you'd let me go with you? What is this? Get out! No, wait, it's only like a minute, see? Yeah? Yo, what's up? This is Kyler. Let's break this gay-ass photo lab. Oh my god. Fuck photography! It's for people who like animals! <laughs> Nicole, leave my office. What the fuck? Kyler, could I have a word with you? Yo, what's up? I'm You're free. expelled. Wow, you got in trouble. Did you see Ew. Kyler's video? No, what? What's the deal with it? Here, watch it on my phone. What is that, a McDonald's employee? It's like, do you guys, am I making this up in my head or is that like, the McDonald's uniform looked like that? Am I making, like, it had, it was black, it had red stripes. <laughs> Crazy, right? Right, Nicole? Huh? Yeah. He did it. He really did it. Mcdonald's did have that uniform? I thought so. <laughs> like, I, the I, music I, of our year was pretty it looks special like that. when you think about or it. Or Wendy's? Yeah, Wait, was it Wendy's or McDonald's? It wonder. Who knew? I wonder which of them is going to die first after high school. Hopefully hey, Nicole, both. Quick. I know we had our differences here and there, but... Sign my yearbook? No! Uh, tell him what every girl will tell him in college. Write something mean. I think these are both going to be mean, but which will be more mean? Hmm. No. What? what? No. <laughs> <laughs> and once again... I can't even begin to describe Hi, how proud I'm I am. Emily, and I'm jealous of my friends because they go off Hi. on dates, and I only go off my medication. Hi, I'm Emily, and I'm jealous of my friends because they go off on dates, Weekly and I only go off my medication. Hi, I'm Hi. I come home from work to this. Smiley face, smiley face, smiley face. <laughs> Girl, also happy belated birthday, fellow dinosaur. <laughs> Hi, thank you, Meekly. Oh, God, stop me. Stop me. I appreciate that. Of each and every one of you, representing your class with a speech, your valedictorian. The characters did move while it was paused. <clears throat> thank you, Principal Lin and the rest of the faculty. Declaring me the valedictorian for class of 09. Schoolwork was all. How old am I now? I'm 34 now. Light the pre roll. Oh no, why? Onward! Always important to me during my. When is the fucking pool party? It better be after this. My tenure here. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> yeah, exactly. Anyway, when's the pool party? Perhaps another among us could put it better. Nicole? That's okay. Nicole, say a few words. First, oh my I god, why did I think she was just gonna like slur? I thought she was just gonna yell a slur or something. I was ready for it. They should have done that. Yeah, it would have been controversial, but 
sure the rest of the game's been wild. Why not? To thank our female authority figure, Miss Lynn, along with her cleavage for symbolizing how the men at this school have treated me here like a sex object. <gasps> what are you doing? In my two years here, a good 20% of the staff has either asked me on a date or made some other form of sexual advance. I told their supervisors and they told me to get my grades up. <gasps> are you out of your fucking mind? I sent my daughter here. <laughs> what kind of school is this? I'm calling the news. Yes. Oh, oops. I we were, just... We've been such an activist so far. We're cleaning the streets up. We're cleaning the schools up. We deserve the Nobel Peace Prize at this point. Dropping off my lost textbook check. Awkward. I was on my way out, just packing. They make you clear the whole room at the end of every year? Uh, no. They make you clear the whole room out after you're fired. Whoops. Your apathy won't work on me, Nicole. You're not mad? No, actually. It's been a long time coming. Surprised it didn't happen sooner, to be honest. So you knew ignoring it would come back to bite you? When you fooled around with half your staff, they don't take you very seriously. I know I might seem old to oh, you, damn. but we're actually not too different. Using our looks to fuck around with people? That's right. Been doing it since I was your age. Good Though you times. really one-upped me. Never letting your emotions trick you into thinking you owed them anything. Rare for a girl your age. How long for you to figure that out? Damn. I still haven't. In 39 years. 39 years old and I didn't report teachers for asking students out. Because I didn't want to look stuck up. You look. Sometimes all it takes is one <laughs> night with someone to feel the need to be loyal. Kelly? Ew, you oh, fucked hey, the has just donated oh. two Canadian dollars oh. and 79 cents through Super oh. Chat. D-I-N-O-S-A. You are a dinosaur. Kesha. Hey. Look here, bucko. <laughs> Thanks, Roman. I appreciate it. Counselor? <sighs> Among others. Well, I guess it only makes sense that men impulsive enough to fuck their boss would also try to fuck kids. I thought you hosted the Feminism Club. Politics are fashion. We pick it for a sense of belonging, not change. Most of us, anyway. Maybe one day... You'll start your own movement. I mean, what? If feminism is about what? Women getting to choose? And she chose to be a fucking bitch. She chose to be a terrible fucking person. I already have. I thought about what Miss Lynn said for months into my first fully legal summer. The manipulation was still fun. What got harder was the escape plan. Now that Where's the 18, fucking pool party? To calling older men pedophiles for dating me, I slowed down a bit. Maybe I should start a movement that makes my attitude more common. But it'd be a ton of work to promote. And that's when I learned the grand irony of being pretty. It destroys your dopamine levels. You don't want to do shit. Dudes just buy me drinks, give me things, everything. What incentive do I have to try? Is this why women make less? We don't feel like trying? Actually, I want a stat on the women who quit their small businesses. What percent of them are hot? Or what if their business does really well because I mean, if we're hot, hot, we could probably make more on OnlyFans. Our culture is ran by looks. Technically, the should take looks and I guess it doesn't exist then. I promise, I'll have a political takeaway from my high school years. I just need the numbers. Watching your dad kill himself really fucks you up. I mean, didn't we just walk in on it though? <laughs> Not like it wants to still fuck you up. Sorry. <laughs> Wait, where's the new message? Oh, right here. What up? Thought you were done after one ending? Not by a long shot. Explore every fate of Nicole and you might just see some things her way. Or you're some loser gets a trigger response when uh, talking to a man. Okay, fuck off. This is... Dare we try to get another ending? You know, we did uh, get a lot of predators off the street in that ending, but we never got to go to the fucking pool party. Uh, I want, is there a pool party? Can you guys just tell me? Is there a pool party? Is there a pool party ending? 
make no mistake. Watch the intro again I'm a for sociopath. people who were not here. God, that sounded evil. Let's rewind a little. I grew up all over coastal America. House after house after restraining order. Everything just kind of blends in. If the divorce rate is 50-50, my mom landed on tails like eight times. So by the time I was 14, right? I moved from seven different houses and attended six different school districts. After a while, you don't see a point in making friends. The vitamin C graduation song? Yeah, I can't relate. But then one year, all of that almost changed. For the first time ever, I found myself in a school for two consecutive years, going on three. And then I like started turning pretty a month into high school, so the guys hitting on you social leverage was really awesome. The popular girls would talk to me all the time. But they were just stupid. Like they'd always been pretty. Never left out. Never alone. And when I think about it, all the thinking I've ever done was when I was alone. I was nice about it and thought I'd always be nice about it. Finally in one place to build a steady reputation. And then life said, fuck that. My piece of shit gamer brother got us evicted for pirating breakbeat mixtapes. It's like not even good music. Anyway, so mom was crying, packing up the moving boxes. And that's when she told me we're moving out of state and I just got settled. I said, fuck you, I'm living with dad. He's just a neighborhood down. I put the boxes down, go over, knock on the door and boom. Shot. My oh my god, it scared me again! Himself. I walked in. The floor looked like a whole ass video game, just blood everywhere. And get this, his suicide note was stuck to the fridge with a cookie monster magnet. All he wrote on it? Nicole's fault. I'm Nicole, by the way. Hi. What the fuck did I do to him? Maybe I missed the office softball game? Men are so into this revenge suicide thing. But whatever. It doesn't matter. Nothing matters. I'm moving. Again. City, county, state, all the same fate. Hi! But I've I'm only Nicole. said that while leaving. This time, it's on arrival. Hey, so for the senior prank this year, what if we like parked our cars where we don't usually park them? Oh my god, that is so funny. <laughs> yeah, math class this year with Mr. Burliday. <laughs> yeah, like, fuck Mr. Burliday, dude. <laughs> god, they are never funny. It's like the girls just laugh to avoid sexual assault. Hey, yo, you new to this educational prison? <laughs> wow, yeah, that was funny. Yeah, I'm getting into, like, humor and stuff. Anyway, you know anyone around here? Crispin better not fucking try to be a predator. He better not. I have to have faith that one person's okay in this game. I'm I am gonna be nice to Crispin. Know where your classes are? I mean, kinda. There's like numbers on the doors. I think I can figure it out. No, 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 no. I, I could show you around. Like like a school tour. You want to do that? You up for that? Huma, the school tour. Yeah, so then my friend got the DLC, this downloadable content. It's like $10, like, dude, kind of not worth it for the gun. Why are you talking to me about video games? Just something, you know, uh, what, you don't like play video games or something? I'm a thin girl. Do I fucking look like I play video well, games? Damn. I'd rather play dead at a necrophilia convention. Oh, well. Expose yeah, me. Yeah, you know. I know what. Did, did you hear about how Mountain Dew makes guys sterile? Yeah, from you and every other guy who reads the internet to try to be interesting. Ha, oh. <laughs> nice rolly backpack, you fucking oh. four-eyed double dick sucking bitch. Hey, double dick stop sucking bitch. It. This backpack holds priceless reading materials. Oh yeah, like what? The like Bernstein bears make eye contact. Hey, what is this? <laughs> fourth grade? It is home to some of my favorite manga books. Manga? What is it, like Asian or something? Japanese, thank you. Some of which go on to be very popular television shows. Wait, can't you watch half those on cartoon channels? Why the hell would you read it? Uh, oh, that's it. Dude, how do you care about anything this much? W what do you mean? Like, okay, he thinks your Chinese cartoon books are stupid. Why defend it? Stay out of this, you... you girl. You girl! Double down on the verbal abuse. Watch him get beat up. Oh. Can we watch him get beat up while screaming verbal abuse? 
because... I don't know how good the getting beat up will be given the graphics, which is fine. But the, because of that, the verbal abuse I think Kelly, might be better. Pineapple Slurp has just donated two euros and forty nine cents through super chat. Crispin probably peed in the pool. You know what? I think so. I think you're right. We haven't seen too much of Crispin, but I can see it. Thank you so much. What the fuck, you greasy bitch? I was trying to help you. I don't need help from someone who misnationalizes my Japanese manga books. Japanese manga books? That's literally you. That's what you sound like. Yeah, first time you talk to a girl and you correct her on the origin of your backwards picture books. They're not backwards. They just read right to left. No one cares. I care. And the YouTube anime community cares too. Like, Naru Party 13 He's got 1,600 subscribers. Do you have that many? Why would you upload videos to YouTube? How else do you think videos get there? It's for watching I TV uploaded, shows. You don't hey, I uploaded myself in 2005 when I was uh, 14, 15, something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> but I only did one because I only had dial-up internet and it took a long ass time to upload like a five second video so never again oh it was 2006 oh close enough fucking participate in it what am i gonna go on youtube and get digitally molested no it, <laughs> you're gonna transform whatever everything's fine my mom said the bullies go nowhere and smart kids like me become notable adults. The most notable thing you could do is killing yourself before graduation. Then your dad can cry in front of school assemblies next to a black and white photo of you. What? No. Dude, the games have been coming for me lately. Oh. It's the hex. Little bitch. Whoa, I'm straight. <laughs> so, hey, you're like pretty cool ah! well my last name's you most people just call me that you what is it like asian that's hot yeah grandma had yellow fever cool yeah so what's your first name fuck oh you look new the lunch line's on the other end there huh you're trying to find where the lunch line starts right you got here a little late so it's pretty long now is she wearing is she wearing oh. a different outfit than the first time Maybe I just don't remember. Fuck, for a sec I thought everyone else was skipping too. Where'd you come in from? Like, just outside? There was this weird kid getting his shit handed to him. Like, weird how? I don't fucking know. Is he like, talks about a bunch of dumb shit weird? Or like, how can he afford someone to Adderall with a job at the shop and say weird? Um, first one. Oh, glasses, bull cut. That's Jeffrey. I don't think he's all there. Like, he's too socially awkward for the normal people, but too smart for the special eddies. <laughs> Can I sit here? Yeah, sure. All my friends got put in a different lunch period. Oh. What's your name? I'm Nicole. I'm Jekka. Jekka? Jekka the Gekka. That's like on your birthday. Yes, Roast Short her. for Jessica, Avi. That's pretty punk for someone who dresses so... Preppy? Yeah, my mom works corporate for department stores, so I get all this expensive stuff for free, but trust me, <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Cool, yeah, same. Jack, Nicole! I've... You ready for dinner? I've never heard of a Jessica call herself Jessica. You know, I guess it's def it's different than all the Jessies. There's a lot of Jessies out there. I guess they like mostly go with that because they're not creative. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Jesse. Sorry. Day two. <laughs> Is someone gonna kill me day two? If so, absolutely. Why? What happened? Just like waking up in general hurts, and I gotta deal with my brother who's still up from the night before eating a family box of anything. He can eat family-sized meals. How old is he? Like 26. He just freeloads off my Jess mom. Has become a I mean, we kind of freeload number. too, but check us and chat rise up. Underscore pop nails. Jekka Monty would go pretty hard. Just saying. <laughs> oh wait, you're Jess too. All the Jesses are now Jekkas. But we're 16. It's cool when we do it. Exactly. I have to tell him that when I'm woken up by loud chewing noises. Is he fat? Do you know what ex-bodybuilder fat is? Yeah, I kind of know what that looks like. Well, he's an obese monster. I was just curious if anyone else knew that bodybuilder phrase. Oh my god, stop coming that. for me, game! Hey, let's gossip more at lunch. I gotta get to class. God. Dude, fuck class. Just skip with me. I told you yesterday, if I skip anymore, my mom's gonna start Jeez. giving me disciplinary tattoos. How does it even work? What does she write on you? 
It'd be some weird shit, like, I love school on my fingers. Isn't that, like, abusive? She's the only mom I've ever had. How the fuck should I know? Huh. So where are you headed? Photography. So to not make the intro to beginner's photography too long, I'll simplify it by saying I'll have your shots looking superior by the end of this year. Dude, why did I pick an art class? All these kids are annoyingly quirky. So nice of you to join us, young lady. You sound way too happy to be actually happy. True. Quite observant. To make up for your tardiness, perhaps you could help me out in the dark room. I need the chemicals cleansed for tomorrow's class. What's better, Jekka or Jet Ski? <laughs> Asking for a friend. I personally like Jet Ski. It's like Jet Ski, but more like Jet Ski. <laughs> because he asked you to do manual labor roll your eyes while agreeing hmm skip oh hey I know you what's up ah we meet again this is the girls bathroom really okay why is Crispin in the girls bathroom please be for not a creepy reason we were trying to count on you not to be a fucking weirdo like every motherfucking else everyone else like <laughs> <laughs> oh he's gonna watch us pee or something he probably already has a camera set up oh uh, nah, no way so what bring we can pose he -he. you here hmm what would bring a girl to the girl's bathroom skipping duh now get out oh come on wait what class you cutting <laughs> Best state Avril the teacher tried making me do shit for free and i am not about that Photography? Oh, me too. Crazy. So even if I don't skip, I can't avoid you. Great. You're a cool girl, you know that? What? I just like you, you know? Dude, get in line. Nobody knows how to leave me the fuck alone here. So honest. Like, I feel like I could really open up to you. Oh no, he's gonna trauma dump us, isn't he? Oh my god, I did not ask to be used for emotional support today. You have a lot of emotional conversations i listen to a lot of deep bands so i can never find a girl that can keep up with me in that department did you just threw that deep Kelly. bands thing in there with that's not here has just donated 65 swedish kroner through super chat everyone vote what's better jekka or jet ski asking for a friend in the moment i think it's jekka no contact and thank you natalie on. can i at least know your name nicole Oh, hi, Nicole. You want to have a sit down with me? You know, talk it up? No. <laughs> Nicely say you aren't interested. See how deep he is. So should we let him do some trauma dumping, which I feel like he's going to do? Or do we say no, thank you? We do get some drama, though. Like, what's going on with him? Kelly? Yes, Master Breakfast has just donated one dollar and ninety nine cents through Super Chat. Rachel in the nuts room. Nuts. <laughs> the nuts room. Oh, why am I picturing so many weird things of what a nuts room would be? Thank you, Master Breakfast. Blair, let's talk it up. Hey, come on. No need for the jokes. I can tell you're fragile inside. Me too, actually. Oh, yeah? How can you tell? You know, like, y your face and stuff. Just how you are. You've known me for literally two days. All I need is two minutes. <laughs> you want to get to the emotional part? Huffing developer is a lot more exciting than this. Look, it's just, I don't know. People don't understand me. Like one of those padded cells, but not... Dude, that's what I was actually thinking, like, a room with, like, just big nuts. <laughs> Soft nuts. Uh, and you either go in there because you're a danger to yourself or because you're making bread for some reason. Like, this girl saw I was listening to pop punk and was like, I thought punk was anti-pop. Like, she didn't understand. I would have told you the same thing. Pop punk's for boring suburban kids who want to live in L.A. But it's deeper than that like i feel like no one at the school gets me just curious were you saying that before using the internet man like i don't know there's got to be more out there 
You haven't actually replied to a single thing I've said. How is this a conversation? I guess it's not, huh? Not so much a conversation, more like a vet sash. Well, What's anyway. this bitch been saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's <laughs> like, but, oh, Nicole? I tuned him out. I tuned him out thinking about a nuts room. <laughs> I have no idea what just went on. I was still thinking about the nuts room. Thanks for listening. You're a good friend and stuff. Gee, thanks. You're a good <coughs> person I was forced to talk to. How is it two ninety nine for a drop it like it's hot ringtone? It's bleeps and bloops. Fuck out of here. Who is this? Wait. Hey, thanks for listening in the women's restroom. Oh, it's that weirdo. How do you get my number? Whatever. Let's see. Excuse me. We do not bleep here. We only blep. I love seeing you and hearing your voice. Your attitude just works for me. IDK. Yeah, IDK is real romantic. I wanted to show you what you do to me. Show me what? I don't see. Oh my god! Ah! Oh, what the no. fuck? Why? Oh my god! It's like my early YouTube career. Fuck! Delete and forget about it with therapy. He made a mistake. What are these? Bye! Uh, wait, where's send a picture back? Where is send a picture back? Why is it not a choice? Never know what I might do. Never know what I might choose. Oh, he made a mistake. Like, we'll forgive him. Okay. Then again, send it to her. Send Oops, it to sorry, her. I don't know why send it skipped. to him. Barely know him, but let's give it to him too. Send it to her. Oh my god, bitch! She's sending it to everyone. Oh no. Hey guys, what's going on here? We having fun? Oh. You hear the new drops at the oh CD shit. shops? Oh, hey, Crispin. Yeah, I would have, but my after school time was kind of short. Yeah, it wasn't long at all, right? Oh, sucks to hear, bro. What happened? Literally everyone at school seen your micro penis. <laughs> what? No way. Because no. you took a picture of it, you fucking idiot. <laughs> I remember me and my friend got invited to this kid's house and like he was just hanging out with all his like guy friends and stuff and they invited us over when we got there they're like oh we're in the backyard just come back they had fucking saran wrapped their really drunk friend to a tree naked and like Kelly. Oh my god. And we're just making fun of his small penis. It was horrible. Super chat. Warm oily nuts. Chestnut. Like what the fuck did I walk in on? So we fucking left. Like the guy on the that was saran wrapped was laughing too. But like that was not good. Don't admit to that. I didn't do it. I walked in on that. I did not condone it. Settle down, everyone. Every week you kids get worked up over some tiny thing. Oh, you saw it too? <laughs> what is so funny? Crispin's been sending out pictures of his junk to every girl in school. That's not how I heard it. I thought it was just one girl. And then she... And... The next day... I did hang out with that guy and we talked about it. He thought it was funny. I don't know if he was just like trying to be like cool guy, but I did ask, okay? God. He sent it to everyone. <laughs> Who was it then? Tell me, Crispin. The, the new girl, Nicole. Sexually harassing our new students? You're in big trouble, mister. Nicole, there's something we need to talk about. Oh God, not you two. Your principal called and told me there was a problem at school. A boy sent you some unsolicited pictures. Mom, this is gross. I'm not talking about it with you. You were forced to look at sexual imagery, Nicole. The like the guy group in question will always do these shitty pranks on each other. I wouldn't find that shit funny if my friends were doing things like that. 
But these guys were really awful to each other. But they all, like, were friends. And I, like, as far as I could tell on Facebook, all these motherfuckers are still friends. Child psychologists say that can really stunt development. Well, every day I'm forced to look at the principal's fat titties just hanging out all over the goddamn place. This isn't about her. <sighs> look, I just need to know if you're okay. This was very serious. Exaggerate trauma for pity gifts. Yoink. Mom, I really don't know. I don't think so. Oh, sweetie, what happened? It's okay, you can tell me. You won't be mad? No, you didn't do anything wrong. Well, I don't know. He sent me the picture and just wouldn't stop texting me. And you got the limited phone plan, so I couldn't block his what? number. It just wouldn't stop. Oh, I'm sorry. We'll take care of that tomorrow. Now, what else? That's totally something an old mom would probably believe, though. Well, the next day at school, he was way too confident with me. Just pinning me against the locker and licking my earlobes. That's what they fetishize now? Just sick. I know. He told me I was his property and I just started crying. I don't know what to do. There, there. It's all right. Oh, this is the hardest part of being a mom, I swear. I'm sorry I'm a disappointment, mom. I'd want a daughter who gets A's on math tests instead of D's to the face. Stop it. I love you, okay? <laughs> is there any way I can make this better? Anything at all? Well, maybe some new, less revealing outfits so boys stop hitting on me. What? How many? A whole wardrobe. Just to get me through to graduation. No, sweetie, you can't shift your whole life around over one abuser. I'm calling the school to get him expelled. Oh, all right. I guess that's fine, too. And if they don't, I'm filing a lawsuit. We'll even move if we have to. What? Again? But I just... Shh. It's okay. You didn't do anything wrong. Now, where's that office number? Hi, help. I need more Zoloft. <laughs> That's such a good username. Well, guess who didn't get expelled? Mom called again and threatened yes. with a lawsuit. She forgot one crucial detail, though. I'm on the assisted income lunch plan, so they knew she couldn't afford a lawyer. Like oh. six different alimony checks, and they're all going to hair bleaching. Oh, no. So we're moving. Again. I swear to God, I can never be satisfied. Not until it's too late. Is that an ending? Mm. Mm. We'll never get a girlfriend. We'll never get a pool party. We'll never get any respectable gentleman. We'll get no one but misery. Yeah, this is one of those shorter games that has a bunch of different endings, you know, d based on what you choose, so. From what you guys said, there is no pool party. This game does have a, it has a sequel, right? That like just came out. Is that why everyone's been playing it again? Ah! Sorry. I didn't mean to scream at anyone's ears. All right. This one's 2000s. Should we play this tomorrow, the sequel? We'll see. Maybe it, we'll play it soon. Maybe not tomorrow, but we'll play it soon. But, uh, yeah, I think I will stream tomorrow. Um, because, yeah, I've been uh, feeling better. Bob and Odin has become a Pop Dart Pride member. I can't wait to get this sub baby out of me. Beep, 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 are you nuts? What the fuck? Beep, 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 beep. It really struggled with that. Thank you, Baba Noda. Eight months. Should we do another one? You know, maybe one more. Hi, I'm one Emily, more. and I'm jealous of my friends because they go off on dates, and I only go off my medication. Hi, 
I'm Emily, and I'm jealous of my friends because they go off on dates. Jesse, and mommy I only has just donated my ten dollars. Hi, I'm happy belated birthday from your friend Jekka. Hi, I'm Jekka. <laughs> Thank you, Jekka. I appreciate that. Thank you guys for the birthday wishes from you, Jekka, and she's chat saying them. Yeah, my birthday honestly, I like. Yeah, I've just been sleeping all the time. Like, I had to go off my medication, and it's like... It is not a vibe. I was so tired. I need to take, like, iron supplements. And... Yeah, I felt pretty shitty. Like, Thanksgiving and my birthday was just, like, mostly sleeping. Which, honestly, sleeping's, like, not the worst thing. I was just so tired. I could, like... I was, like, staying awake for an hour and then needing to, like, nap for an hour. And then, like, it just kept going. <laughs> Alright, new game. We'll do one more. One more. I'm gonna skip the intro this time, though. Hey, so for the senior prank this year, what if we like parked our cars where we don't usually park them? Oh my god, that is so funny. <laughs> yeah, math class this year with Mr. Burliday. <laughs> yeah, like, fuck Mr. Burliday, dude. <laughs> god, they are never funny. It's like the girls just laugh to avoid sexual assault. Hey, yo, you new to this educational prison? <laughs> wow, yeah, that was funny. Yeah, I'm getting into like humor and stuff. Anyway, you know anyone around here? Know where your classes are? I mean, kinda. There's like numbers on the doors. I think I can figure it out. No, 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 no. I, I could show you around. All right. Whoop. Down. Like, like a school tour. You want to do that? You We're going that? straight to class this time. School tour. Um, that sounds nicely mediocre. But I'm just gonna go to class. See ya. Oh well, yeah. I, I'm Crispin, by the way. Yeah, we should hang out sometime. Yeah. Okay. All right. Bye. Yeah. Oh, you must be new. Yes, please take a seat next to Jeffrey. Hey. Hey, so, uh... Hey! I guess... Hey. I guess we're lab partners, huh? I guess. Not a big talker, are you? I don't know you. Are you just chummy with everyone you meet? Not everyone. But if they look the type to like anime, they may as well, right? I'm sorry, I look like I like anime? How do I fix that? No, no, that's a good thing. It means you're cool and different. And 300 pounds. What was that? Oh, nothing. It was just converting British currency in my Drew head. Cool, has become see? A pop dart pride um, member. Well, the teacher Happy said I'm birthday, Jeffrey. Kelly, What's your name? Mark colon underscore pop love colon underscore pop love big 50 exclamation mark colon underscore pop love colon underscore pop love. Wow, Drew. <laughs> No, thanks, Drew, for the four months. You know what I kind of hate on my YouTube emotes? Someone must have taken pop as a prefix for the emotes, so now I'm underscore pop, even though I just have it as pop. For some reason, <laughs> it's underscore pop as, like, the emote text. This freak is not getting my name. Or do we pretend to be nice? No, I don't think we will. What, so you can look me up on MySpace or something? No thanks. Well, we're gonna get to know each other anyway, right? Probably not. Probably after this week, we won't even talk anymore. I've moved to a lot of different schools, so I'm fully aware you're using the New Kid Grace period. What's New Kid Grace period? Ugh, it's where the outcasts squeeze all the interaction they can out of New Kids <coughs> way above their social status. So when the New Kids get here, it's awkward. They don't know who's who. They'll humor any conversation oh my God, or awkward. friendship she got until a shout they find out. the people on their social level. How do you know I'm not on your social level? Fucking <laughs> look at you. Listen to how you talk. How do you know I'm not? Shut the fuck up. Hey, I didn't do anything. I know. It's what you will do. I've had my ear talked off about comics, laser swords, lowering the age of consent, ninja hand signs, just all that weird shit. You know, the other pre- Oh my God, I would literally have such a hard time not being violent. Pretty girls here are a lot nicer than you are. They talk to you because it's funny. Get a clue. Yeah, a lot of people say I'm funny. Oh, you're funny? Tell me a joke. Oh. Well, it's more like in the moment you had to be there kind of funny. Okay, Jeffrey, you want me to save you years of guessing? Yeah, sure. How? They're not laughing with you. They're laughing at you because they'll never have sex with you. Ah, I got you there. Unless... 
He gets super rich. A lot of the girls we might here said they're saving themselves for me. Christ, they make it that obvious here? Yeah, they're kind of easy if you ask me. No, it. Uh, believe what you want. I'm going to lunch. <laughs> I'm funny. I know I am. Oh my god, now I'm sad. God, the food here is tragic. <laughs> now I feel like a bully. Ribs. Fucking tell He was a little aggressive though, so like, I don't feel that bad, but like, slightly. Tell me about it. That's why I pack. Oh, sorry. Didn't see you. Nah, it's okay. You can sit here. I'm Jekka. Where are you in from? Uh, Hi, history? I'm I Jekka. <laughs> I fucking... <laughs> the... <laughs> The hi, I'm Emily. Like it just lives rent free in my mind. I always hear Sally it. Sally was an exaggeration. Oh my god! It's huge. <laughs> Thank you, Roman. Oh, I appreciate that. I don't know. I didn't really do anything. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, you have to like wash acid off you before you can touch your food. I'm not eating anyway. The guy I had to sit next to scared my appetite away pretty much just me away in general who was it do you know um jeffrey oh yep he's a fun one but he's so like overly chummy that's fun to you all right stop what's that from trivia time what is this voice line from sally wasn't exaggerating it's huge can someone guess correctly you win nothing. Sally wasn't exaggerating. It's huge. Uh, of course, Jesse got it. Jesse got it. It's Imagine Fashion Designer. Good job. <laughs> Thank you, Avocado Hut. I appreciate that. It's kind of, that game, like, the name kind of sucks, you know? Sally wasn't exaggerating. <laughs> it's huge. N what no one said when they saw the picture from Crispin. No, like, fun to fuck with him, duh. Freshman year, every girl put love notes in his locker, right? Thank so you, So he went up to some of the girl's boyfriends, like, ah, she's in love with me now. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. Because they were all, like, 14, three guys just beat the shit out of him for it. Now we have all these stupid anti-bullying rules. I never got how they could, like, enforce that. It's baby simple. If you don't want to get bullied, just be hot and sociable. Fucking accurate. I'm Nicole, by the way. Well, I'll see you around, Nicole. Nicole! You ready Nicole! for day two? <laughs> Is someone gonna kill me day two? If so, absolutely. Why? What happened? Just like waking up in general hurts. And I gotta deal with my brother who's still up from the night before eating a family box of anything. He can eat family sized meals? How old is he? Like 26. He just freaks. Okay, I don't wanna be a to like sound like a total fat ass, but like, some like, dude, no, sometimes the family meals are like way too fucking small. It's like 300 calories per serving. Like, you're gonna be hungry, right? Like, that's not a big enough dinner unless you're, like, having small snacks throughout the day. Some of them just are not big enough. Like, just a little... Yeah, shrinkflation, too. So now they're getting even smaller and more expensive. No, sometimes they do genuinely have, like... I, it's usually... Sometimes they'll put family size, but usually it's a party size for the really, really big ones. He loads off my mom. I mean, we kind of freeload too, but we're 16. It's cool when we do it. Exactly. I have to tell him that when I'm woken up by loud chewing noises. Is he fat? Do you know what ex-bodybuilder fat is? Yeah, I kind of know what that looks like. Well, he's an obese monster. I was just curious if anyone else knew that bodybuilder phrase. He's not that. Obese monster hey, again. Let's go sit more at lunch. I gotta get to class. Dude, fuck class. Just skip with me. I told you yesterday, if I skip anymore, my mom's gonna start giving me disciplinary tattoos. How does it even work? What does she write on you? It'd be some weird shit, like, I love school on my fingers. Isn't that, like, abusive? She's the only mom I've ever had. So where are you headed? All right, we already heard her bitching. Oh. I guess we go to gym class now, because we already did photography. I don't think we ever did gym class second. Last time we just showed up to photography class. 
We didn't really get a choice in the matter. Matter. Ba ba. Your name, uh, your name came out in Simlish, not English. My bad, Bleb. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, where's the alert, though? Did the alert go off? Oh, wait. It's a donation, not... I thought you... Sh Never mind. It's delayed. I'm okay. Gym class. Good. Now everybody better dress out every class. If you don't, it's a zero. Hit the locker rooms. I'll see you back here in 10. So, so. Hi, I, oh. I'm Emily, and I'm <laughs> jealous of my friends because they go off on dates, and I only go off my medication. Hi, I'm Emily, and I'm jealous of my friends because they go off on dates, and I just only, only go off my medication. Super Hi, the stream I'm will be monetized. Will it also have a diarrhea hex? Um, no, it probably won't be. I think there were a few too many things said in the voice lines in the game for that, for it to be monetized. I would be very shocked. But hey, every once in a while, I have a really edgy stream and like it's still somehow monetized. So you never really know. But I think that's usually when I'm speaking. Like if I say a bunch of crazy stuff, I think my, for some reason, the YouTube AI like does not pick up my voice very well. So if you ever list, listen to like closed captions on my channel, like the auto ones, it's always saying stuff completely different from what I'm saying. Like it does not comprehend me and that's okay. I don't comprehend myself very much either. Thank you, Bleb. So gym class showing our education system is pure evil. Why do you talk like a cartoon? What do you mean? If I talked like a cartoon, I'd go, what's up doc? No, it's just this general, ha ha, I'm <laughs> random cartoon channel talk. Have you ever watched television for adults? What? Do you mean like porn? No, just normal. Never mind. Oh my god. Because I like some wild porn here and there. You probably couldn't handle it. Oh. Oh. Let's see if he'll tell us. So what kind of porn do you watch? We'll see. Try me. Huh? Most girls just scream and run when I say that. You're different. Well, are you gonna tell me or not? Why do you wanna know? Tell us! Everybody knows the Tell oh. us! Imads has become a Pop Dart Pride member. Anyway, Fort Mary Kill Crispin Jeffrey Kylar. Hmm. 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 Mary, Jeffrey, kill Kyler, fuck Crispin. Or no, maybe fuck Kyler. I feel like we haven't gone far enough with Kyler yet. But either way, they're all scum. Coolest guys have depraved fetishes. Have you been on the internet? Maybe I'm looking for a boyfriend. Oh, and thank you, I'm Mads. My manners escaped me again. You can keep up with me. Uh, uh, all right. See me at lunch today. Maybe we could talk about it then. I'm so there. Awesome. Finally, someone to share my escapism with. Escapism? Yeah, I get lost in all these weird websites to get away from my gun nut step. Are we not hearing what kind of porn or what? Did he ever say? Were we ever told? Where's the intel? Did I miss it? Dad. I think he was in Iraq or something. He's telling me at lunch. Tell me no! What the fuck does it matter? It's not that goddamn important to wait. Doesn't matter anyway. I think mom's already looking for a new guy. Another party we'll never go to. Oh my god. All right. Let me, I'll let them talk now and I will listen. A house full of depraved porn and firearms. What could possibly go wrong? What was that? Oh, just I have wanted a chat like this for so long. 
So you like him how much taller than you exactly? Why, why is he so like bent down by our titties? Like, he's not motorboating them or anything, but he's getting a little close, a little close for comfort. At least like 12 feet taller, preferably 50. I want to be picked up with only two of her fingers. And what do you call that again? It's a giantess fetish. A woman so tall she can't even see those minute details about me. Like how I can't tie my shoes. Yeah, I wouldn't want anyone to see that either. Okay, I mean, better than if it had been Vor. Yeah, like, uh, but it... <laughs> this is cool, what else? Really? Uh, well... I would have judged then. I like then. When cute girls walk all over me. Huh, you know, most people hate when they're taken advantage of. No, I mean literally walk all over me love to be stepped on by a cute pair of feet yes well, beats stepping on a scale right but yeah unfortunately most of my fetishes can only be realized through my anime the realm of the living isn't quite ready for 50 foot tall vixens yeah the real world sucks hard dude did i mention how i liked girls with cat ears and tails do they meow when you have sex with them well i wouldn't know haven't done one yet. I haven't done anyone before. Rex ran to camp. Shocker. Oh my god, I discovered that I, like, I didn't even remember because I haven't watched Desperate Housewives in so long. But I had forgotten that I bought all of the seasons on my Amazon account. I got binge watched those soon. I didn't know I had them. I thought I had watched them on, like, Netflix or something. But I've got them. And they are sitting there ready to be watched again. I wonder if the library has volume 31 yet. Hey there, Jeffrey. Things better with your dad yet? Oh, hello, Jekka. Unfortunately, no. He used my toothbrush to clean out his new assault rifle he bought from China. Wow, messed up much? Anyway, could you buy me another Diet Coke? Sorry, but I can't anymore. My mom's been wondering where all my lunch money's been going. Aw, oh, you're mean. You don't like me anymore. Again, I'm sorry. I just don't know. Maybe I should grow 40 feet. Then you'd really like me. Hey, <laughs> how'd you... <laughs> Maybe oh, he took no. his shoes off and stepped on his face. I can't believe this. She told everyone. It's okay, Jeffrey. Run away with me. I'll stuff you in my back pocket. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, I feel bad. Maybe I wouldn't have felt bad if, like, it's not too wild. It's, you know, a little funny if you think about it and you're not into that, but, like, <laughs> dang. Just shut up! He's feisty today, meow. Oh my god, I almost forgot about that. You have any catnip for us? Yeah, cut us! Make us turn! I can't believe this! <laughs> Don't make fun of the nerd with an assault rifle, Dad. <laughs> so again, oh no. while I find the notes flattering, <laughs> the boys need to quit writing bad bitch on my office door. I'll start tracking who <laughs> left them if it continues. Well, it definitely wasn't Jeffrey. Oh? Fuck, you heard that? Why is it definitely not Jeffrey? Because you're not a cat. <laughs> Settle down now. I've heard the rumors going around about him, and you should all be ashamed of yourselves. Ah, oh, thank you. I was really... Just because he prefers alternative forms of sexual intercourse does not <gasps> mean he should be ridiculed. Oh, my God. Uh... Sorry, I'm a little out of the loop. What do you mean by alternative. Oh, God. Jeffrey here prefers to be stepped on by uh. women who look like cats, as opposed to standard intercourse with a human woman. I mean, it doesn't sound horrible. <laughs> Will this stop? Class dismissed. <laughs> yeah, the white word. You did this. <laughs> did what? Oh, my Told God. <laughs> Oh, we're so getting killed. We are so getting killed. To everyone, my darkest <coughs> secrets. That was in confidence. Guess I did. Sorry. You ruined what my What a life. bitch! I haven't touched my manga in forever. Not even cartoons entertain me anymore. Relatable. Do you even care? 
Do the results of your actions mean anything to you? Yeah, when they affect me, sure. No one in the realm of the living ever liked me anyway. Maybe things would make sense if I was dead. Maybe. I've had to start taking medication <laughs> since you betrayed me. Hi, I'm Jeffrey, and I go on medication. <laughs> I also waited for everyone to leave just so you'd be the only one to hear this. Tonight, when my mom's out with her new boyfriend, I'm going to take the entire bottle. I'm going to kill myself. What? You chose to start this. But I won't give you a choice in stopping it. Jesus Christ. Girl hormones make me feel guilty. Dude, hormones be crazy, though. I mean, you don't have to kill yourself over this, do you? In the realm of the living, I am nothing more than a punchline for others' amusement. This is not the purpose I desired. Well, what is? I don't know. So if you die now, you'll never know. Don't try to talk me out of it. There's really no place for people like me. Tech, what are people like you like? I want 40 foot tall women with cat features to step on me. You really think that's the end of the world though? What do you mean? So you want more than missionary, big deal. Okay, so it's not the end of the world. It's still the end of my social life. Jeffrey, what social life? Understand All you did was read anime books donated four dollars and ninety nine cents through super chat. Thirteen bitch. reasons why and reasons one to thirteen are us. Understand the palm of my hand, bitch. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Thanks, calculator guy. Quick, quote the correct Bible verse. Fuck! Oh, it's the correct Bible verse. Four. You're still reading anime books now. Did you stop jerking? One of you mentioned in chat, like, yeah, in 20... Oh, Ari just mentioned again, like, yeah. Yo, just wait. Like, I don't know, you wait 10 years and people be all over that giant... 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 <laughs> giantess. Why is it so hard to say for me? Giantess. Gi <laughs> off to porn of comic... It's pot. I see that shit all over Twitter now. ...tall women... No. So what's the problem? Seems like everything's going according to plan. <laughs> you know, you're right. The only thing that's different is everyone knows now. Who cares? Yeah, before they just assumed it. Gosh, thanks, Nicole. You're a really good friend. I said the right uh, Bible verse. I'm sorry, what was that last word? Maybe I'll see you in lunch tomorrow. Company always keeps the suicidal thoughts away. Oh, God. See ya. He'll be mentioning it in a day or two. This is what empathy gets you. He'll be mentioning it again. Nicole? I'm trying to make a depression playlist on iTunes. What is it? Well, nothing really. I'm just wondering why you've been so exhausted lately. People, Mom. You're being nice, right? Trying to get along? Yeah. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that's my problem. Never putting up a fight. Never telling men I'm not their emotional wheelchair. Well, sweetie, I'm not sure if being confrontational is the key to happiness. You're a beautiful girl. Don't have an ugly personality towards anyone. So I should, like, spread myself thin so anyone can have a place in my life? Don't put it so negatively. All I'm saying is be inclusive. Give people a chance. No! What if they're bad people? They are! I don't believe in anyone being inherently bad. Well, you're a fucking yeah, stupid then. Yeah, I guess then. the pedophiles trying to abduct me on MySpace are just misunderstood. Always a negative spin. Just promise you'll try. Try to be nice and make time for people. The connections you start early come in handy later on. Don't screw up here. Ugh, oh, fine. Thank you. I promise it'll pay off. Mom's like, be friends with people who romances. you hate and who hate you so that you can use them for something down the line. <laughs> but whatever, now my mom's addicted to heroin again. How was Yay. your spring break? Exhausting. I thought everyone would just forget about the hangout promises I made over the winter. The thing where you tell them you're really busy for midterms but should have time in the spring? Yeah, I thought most of them would just forget. Not when you're hot. They never forget when you're hot. I'm hot. Hi, you James Dingle. Fish for compliments. 
Whatever, yeah. So not a single free day to myself, having to meet dipshits X, Y, and Z at the mall, or the park, or the diner. What kind of Mormon ass bitch meets at a Hi, I'm Chekka's mom, and I'm on heroin. <laughs> How does that fit for so many things? Diner. They all blend together, couldn't tell ya. <laughs> Worst part is, I'm at this point where I'm too nice to even decline the follow-up hangouts. Hey, let's do this again. Maybe next week, same time. Yeah, so now it's the bullshit I put up with on break combined with the bullshit I put up with at school. Really makes you question the whole point of niceness. Being nice just traps you into these hostage friendships. Socializing honestly kind of sucks now. You're starting to sound like that weird kid, Jeffrey. Yeah, Jeffrey's one of my hangouts this week. Oh my god, you're that far in? That's oh my like god. That's girl nice. Tell him to fuck off. I can't. I feel like I'm at a point of no return. If I try to escape now, he'll just stalk me. Don't be so cynical. He'll probably just murder you. Dying would be awesome right now, but I feel like there'd be strings attached with him. You're dead. What could he possibly do? Your body doesn't disappear when you die, so whatever his twisted little anime brain wants... Ew, okay. But if he actually killed you, could I take your body to a taxidermist? What the fuck, bitch? What do you mean by that? What are you gonna do with my body? And no, you can't. That's illegal. Yes? Good to know. Have fun with your little date. Fucking Norman Ugh. Bates over here. Jekka Bates. Light up the pre-roll. So this is your place, huh? That's the third time you said that. Sorry, yeah, today's just been wild, crazy. That's the fourth time you said that. Oh, uh, pretty sweet. Whoa, why is this boy in my room? Why is this boy in my mother's basement with me? What's going on here? <laughs> uh, how did this happen? Let's proceed. Your mom's out of town. You could throw a whole party, right? If I like- Oh my god, let me throw a pool party, even if we don't have a pool. People enough to let them destroy my house, then yeah, absolutely. Aw oh man, don't be a downer. You kind of remind me of this one girl from a local punk band around here. She kind of gets standoffish too. I'm standoffish? No, no, not like it's a bad thing, just more like the band makes her image that. I, I think they were called- Idea. Amazing idea. We flood- the basement and have a basement pool party exactly pineapple syrup you are oh, smart genius oh uh man I, I can't even think right now <laughs> has it really only been 20 minutes hey i, I just want to let you know you're actually really pretty i know pretty and like pretty cool too your taste in music it's like it's like nothing i've ever heard before you really know your stuff no, I don't. I had Sean Kingston on for the last hour. Humble too? Like, you're different. When did we talk to this bitch this playthrough? I'm not playthrough? having sex with you. Whoa, what are you talking about? Why Fucking is he you here? was like the last thing I'm on so my confused. mind. I'm so confused. Why is bias? Unless you'd want to. You've worn the same Volcom socks for like two weeks. So that's a no? It's cool if it is. You're way too beautiful, girl. But yeah, it might seem crowded now, but you should see this place on you Friday. Got me. What? Oh, I said you should see this place on Friday. <laughs> okay. You see me at the hoops machine? I'm sick. You couldn't keep up. Yeah, I really should have taken it more seriously. I'm sad. Why? I'm on dates with everyone. <laughs> Why are we going off on dates with everyone? I literally thought we only set up a date with Jeffrey, but suddenly there's everyone. <laughs> Is this correct? Is the game correct right now? It seems like messed up. But hey, you know what? I'm not complaining. 17 after all. And the skee ball machine? Don't take it too hard. I make everyone look trash at it. All of this behavior is telling. Yeah, telling pussy ass bitches <laughs> to suck my dick. I think I should start making rap songs. My dad is a MacBook. True. But yeah, season four, not really for me personally. How about you? Sorry, season four of what now? You know what I, you know what I need to find? I did so many school projects as videos where I recorded me and my friends, you know, I don't know, whatever the project was, but I always made them really good. I need to find those and show them to you guys. I don't know if I still have them. Like they might legit be on 
like our camcorder had those little small VHS tapes. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? The little tiny tapes. They might, I might still have those and they might have like my school projects on them. They're really funny. Isn't it too cringe to look back on? I mean, yeah, it would be pretty cringe, but like, I don't think they were that bad. Like in one of them, we read this book in English class where like the lady, I don't know, she got all depressed <laughs> and she swam out to sea to die. Um, and I, I had to like do something where I was like acting as the character and, and I just made sure I was soaking wet when I was saying what I was saying. It was so stupid. <laughs> You read that one too? <laughs> and then I had one where like I dressed up my friend in a dinosaur costume and we went to the Bean in Chicago and it had this whole story I wrote called The Last Dinosaur where there was one final dinosaur that was like stuck in our world and it was amazing. I need to find it. The Doki Daisuke anime? You've been paying attention, right? To the first three seasons, or are you talking for the last 20 minutes? Actually, it's the same answer for both. Yeah, I know. What were the writers thinking? I'm actually involved with an online group, and we're going to reanimate season four the way the fans wanted it. Like a whole cartoon? Yeah, you want to join? We could use all the help we could get. I guess. Animation takes a lot of time, right? At least you weird kids put your time towards something. Oh, well, actually, we haven't found an animator yet. Yeah, but one of our friend's cousins might do it after he graduates from media school. For free? Yeah, just for the love of the show. Oh, okay, I'm not joining then. Huh? Why not? There's no difference whether I join or not join. Wait, is he paying for our food? Like, if he wants to emotionally manipulate us repeatedly... I mean, but he's gonna buy us food. It's not the worst exchange. Because this will never be made. Well, if you feel that way. Do you know why it's so hard to find animators? I don't know why the fuck I'm here. I even had to pay for my own shitty cheeseburger. I'm gonna start telling men I'm vegan so they stop trying to take me places. <laughs> oh, that's but yeah, Kelly's links. a fucking whore and I hope she dies. <gasps> End of discussion. Ah! Ah! I can't believe this. Wow, Jekka. You fucking monster. You ignorant bitch. I'm not opposed to that stance. How about you, Nicole? Emily, what the fuck? What the fuck did I do? Huh? Nicole? Huh? Oh, sorry. I'm exhausted somehow. You've been tuning out all lunch. She's been down the being nice rabbit hole since spring break. Poor new kid. It's like you know they want to fuck, but they won't just ask so you can reject them and put an end to the friendship. How'd you even let it get to the point of a friendship anyway? Cause I'm a fucking pushover, okay? Thank you for reminding me. Oh, now don't be a bitch about it. Let's just enjoy our cancerous meatloaf in peace. Fine, sorry. Oh, Nicole, what's up? You still on for tonight? Fucking Crispin! What about me? Don't worry about it. Yeah, I think so. Cool. The concert's gonna be sick with you there. Shit, that concert- Pause the game. School meatloaf. Oh, what about Salisbury steak? Do you guys remember that lunch? If I don't know about- I mean, maybe this is only in America. Do you guys remember Salisbury steak? Lunches? School lunches? What the fuck was that? I mean, it wasn't the worst one. But it did usually come with mashed potatoes. That was pretty sick. But sometimes those were hit or miss. Wow. 
what fuck kind of school did you go to that had steak? Nah, Jesse, nah. No, no, no. It <laughs> Salisbury steak is not steak. It is like you're thinking of normal steak. This is it's is a mutant. It is it was tonight? You are exhausted. Who's playing? Literal nobodies, just cover bands. Why would you agree to that? She's in too deep to say no. Yeah, someone told me they saw you at a place with that weird Japan kid. Wow, you actually went through with that. You need to have some kind of limit. How can I rank who and who not to hang out with when they're all equally shitty to me? Are you suicidal? Oh my god, don't just ask that. Seriously, though? Yes, very. Yeah, me too. Same. But you're not just suicidal. You're, like, depressed, too. Maybe you should just blow off that concert. But then I won't hear the end of it. You guys, Do you guys know what lives rent-free in my mind? I saw the movie Anaconda whenever it came out. And at the beginning of the Anaconda movie, the Anaconda attacks this random dude and he's about to be squeezed to death and then like pulls out his gun and offs himself. And that shit has lived rent free in my head ever since. I really can't like, I don't know why, but like sometimes in my brain, I'm like, Hmm. It would suck to be in a situation like that, but it le like, I don't know why. I don't want to think about it. Can't please everybody. Well, if you're suicidal, just go home and kill yourself. Then he's the asshole. True, yeah. Like it just like I, <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> like yeah, like it's some weird intrusive thought thing. We're like, hmm. If I was in this situation, would I either? just end it or would I try and survive like in that situation though you're not gonna survive like the snakes gonna was gonna squeeze him to death and it probably would have been more painful and then like it's like a weird existential crisis I have all because I watch a stupid anaconda movie and it's not even a good fucking movie like at all it has j-lo I guess oh my god just like that <laughs> No. No. I thought they played music at concerts. Yeah, I think they're just doing a sound check. And that was our last song of the set. Lincoln Dark, up next. So you having fun? I'm actually having Wow. That, those choices came up and you guys did not use one fucking Bible verse on me? How? Fucking dare you! Not one person tried. Having an aneurysm. Y'all were just saying, do it. Hey, you. Mr. Colby, what are you doing here? I work here. Oh, I guess you had to find a new job after the school board fired you. What are you talking about, fired? I left, moved on to bigger and better things. No, I'm pretty positive you got fired after groping me and seven other girls. Jesus Christ, no. You guys don't know any Bible verses? Okay, fair enough. Okay, neither do I. So. Yeah, I'm a player. Don't remind me. What say you and me get out of here? I want to show you my new ride. You know, I'd love to chill in the back seat with a registered sex offender, but I might miss the next shitty band, so... Come on, Nicole. None of these high school boys are at this level. I actually prefer 25 seconds of intercourse. Just shut up and get in my car. No! Oh, uh, Fuck! Um... You think I don't have any pull now that I'm not your gym teacher, but think again! My players love me, and they all keep in touch. Dude, this play... I'm gonna be honest, this last playthrough we're doing, like... I feel like we're just showing up at random places with random characters. Like, I, like, right? It's happened a few times now. Like, maybe they don't just, they, it doesn't link as fluently. Are you threatening me? I didn't do anything. Yet. Fuck this, I'm out of here. Wait, you're gonna miss three more cover bands. Yeah, we probably should have chose the other choice and just hey, how was the concert unalived. <laughs> Fun as expected. Makes sense. So hey, you want to skip fourth period and buy cigarettes off that weird guy that hangs out in front of our school? 
I would, but I've just lost the will to do anything. And fourth period's one of my sleeping classes. Come on, I can't go alone. We skip all the time together. What if he kidnaps me? What am I gonna do? Use my tiny arms to rip you from his grasp? This is bullshit. What? You blow all your time on these idiots you don't even like, and now you can't even hang when it's someone you do like? I know, but like- I don't think we really actually like each other, Jekka. That's the problem. Like, I'm too far in. It's gonna be a nightmare if I tell everyone to fuck off now. You have a choice to make. It's either me or your hostage friendships. End of discussion. Fuck. Well, now I gotta think if I love you more than I hate being stalked. If you don't have an answer by fourth period, I'll have one for you. Yeah, and she called me a whore. Wow. See you, Nicole. And she was God, serious. I wish I was a lesbian. You fucking whore! <gasps> ah! No, a lesbian. Didn't I go to an arcade with you? Why are you mad? It's a barcade? You know why. Everyone in lacrosse is talking about it. I... I don't get it. Is this for YouTube or something? You fucked the whole football team! Ah! No, I didn't. Wait, even if I did, why do you care? We weren't even together. Fuck off. Don't All judge. All those times I took you out, and you had the nerve to have sex with everyone but me! Yeah, me too. But oh, you were God. easy. You would have tried more when I took you out. I'm done with you. From now on, I'm gonna make your life a living hell! My cousin's gonna hack your MySpace when I tell him you use me. What the fuck is this? You all insisted that I hung out with you, not the other way around. Then why'd you keep doing it if you didn't want a date, huh? I kept offering. I was trying to be nice. Yeah, I kept offering to lube up the prude, but looks like you were a manipulative slut the whole fucking time! A grown man. What did I get out of any of these hangouts? Did they even buy me anything? <laughs> no wonder we're so sad we've got nothing people just took 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 actually started a rumor about me somebody steal her although to be fair to jeffrey we did spread his kink but none of these other mother motherfuckers have anything to stand on back back yeah we gotta get our money back somehow and then fuck anyone Run home to mom, run to the counselor's office. Well, I'd probably rather go to the predator. No, I'm joking. We'll go to mom. <laughs> you need a prescription for Vicodin? This is hardly a bug. Vicodin? Yes, hello? Oh, hey, you. Oh, no, what is it? Are you serious? I guess I'll have a word, yeah. Mom, we gotta talk. Shh. Yeah, of course. My daughter just walked in. Okay, see you soon. Bye, sexy. Oh my god, mom. I was just on the phone with your school. Who at my school are you calling sexy? Oh my god, mom fucked a whole football team too. No! <laughs> your principal, why are you skipping school? Mom, you don't understand. Like 10 guys were about to jump me over a rumor. I had to split out of there. I don't care if it was 20 guys. They're considering expulsion for all the times you skipped. I told you not to screw up here. Mom, I can't help it if the pedophile gym teacher is trying to sabotage me. No, but yeah, I think she is labying with the principal, realistically. This is the first I've heard of any gym teacher. I told you about it three times. You would have remembered if you weren't always fucked up on Vicodin. I fucking told you guys the first playthrough when she was talking shit to us about doing drugs. I said, I bet this bitch is hopped up on pills. And look, oh, big's a fucking surprise. What did I just say? Whatever. That's it. That's it. You're going back to that school whether you like it or not. If they expel you from there, you're expelled from this home. Fuck this, I'm done. Good! Lock yourself in your room. It'll be the last time you're seeing it. Cause I'll be dead! You got that right. In that order. First they're read, then they're figured out, then they're persuaded. Some would call that wrongly manipulative, but what's the alternative? Basically, any advice my mom's ever given me? Don't be mean, don't judge, be open. And yeah, sure, but that only works when men don't want to have sex with you. Be tolerant of guys who get off by choking you. No way that goes south. What's wrong with a pizza delivery boy with no career goals? 
When's the last time you asked your pizza man if he's a rapist? They're called warning signs, but ignoring them makes you a nice person. And one day, if you're a nice enough girl, you'll end up just like me. And just like my dad. You know what, if also? you're reading this... Oh. I'm dead. Oh, rip. Anyways. <laughs> you know what also lives in my head rent-free? The hamster dance song. I always does. It just comes to me randomly. Like it just came to me then. And a totally appropriate time. Okay, I did not- I did cut off the text of the offing note, but she did say the whole thing. I did not cut the ending! That was it! We got the Kate ending. So our first en our first ending was probably the most positive ending. We got predators off the street. And we seemed uh pretty angry by the end of it, but okay. Then the second one. I didn't like the second one that I didn't like that ending. Do one more. One more. Hmm. Should I? Should I? You Make got it. No mistake. I'm a social. No, 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 no. I, I could show you around, like, like a school tour. You want to do that? You up for that? We will do it. I'm gonna be honest, you seem like the most boring piece of shit I ever met. Enough to demotivate an elephant. I got him right here, you wanna do him with me? They only kinda get you fucked up, but it's good. We were, we're gonna decline the drugs this time. We've not declined drugs yet. We normally would never, but we will. Like, I'd love to, but I kinda make too good of decisions to get high with a stranger. Oh, come on, don't be a pussy. We fucking go to the same school. I'm a student athlete, people know me here. Yeah, student athletes, kind of the red flag here. If I pop too many, I'm gonna wake up with my thighs covered in butter. Bro, I have done literally nothing to give you this impression of me. You ever played with a sleeping teammate's ass? Well, like not in a gay way. Uh-huh. How is that gay? Whatever, oh I'm going to lunch. My. It was nice meeting you, very straight, non-rapist. Oh my. <laughs> Kelly. Brent Kelm has just donated six Canadian damn, dollars and 99 cents to Super so Chat. Oh Thanks for the good vids over the years. Brent! You're welcome. And thank you for your kind donation. See, maybe I should restart and accept the drugs again because I feel like we're... I need a different route. But what route? I don't know where to go here. You know what? I have an idea. Restart. I will literally off myself if you can return to the main menu. All right, we will. New game. Skip that. No, 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 no. I'm skip that. Enough to demotivate an elephant. We I still got right take here. the drugs. You want Free Percocet? Hell yeah, hand it over. This is actually my Mexican cartel supply, but it probably won't kill you. My feet feel great. I could fall asleep standing right now. Yeah, I told you, it was good shit. I'm sorry, are we lost? Both of you should be in class. This isn't a skip period. Oh, fuck. Uh, hey dude, we were just on our way, you know? What are you hiding there? Oh, shit. Prescription pills? Whose are these? Actually, it doesn't matter. You're both in big trouble. Why does he have a train on his shirt? This time we're snitching. Wait, wait, what? Oh, don't play dumb. I didn't do anything. I was on my way back from the bathroom and this guy just stopped me trying to sell his for second for per um, second. I don't know, but he won't <laughs> leave me alone. Oh, come on. Trying to find yet another customer, huh, Kyler? Come with me. Bro, what the fuck? You're seriously believing that? I don't want to hear it. Come with me. 
You're such a fucking bitch, dude. Like, not cool. Uh. Oh, lunchtime. That was the ultimate win-win. Hey, uh, are you okay? What? Oh, no, I'm good as shit, dude. I don't feel great. Just nice. So, is anyone else gonna be sitting here, or...? Oh, sit here all you want. I'm new here. I have no say. Cool, thanks. Um, I'm just gonna say it. Are you fucked up? Are you? Emotionally, absolutely. I'm not rich enough to turn down free Percocet. Yeah, that lacrosse True. guy loves the new girls. Did you pocket any? Can I have one? No, it got broken up real quick. A teacher caught us, and I just pinned it on him. That's fucking badass. What's your name? I'm Nicole. But don't say that really loud. I don't I'm want Nicole. These people to know me. And don't I worry, go on Percocet. So, what electives are you taking? Uh, like, uh, is English an elective? It should be, but no. Okay, then. It was photography. Me too. We might be in the same class. Oh my god! If you'd like to get that excited about it, yeah, we might be. Oh, you're too cool for school? Well, no. Right now, I feel warm as hell. Have you popped perk? It's a blanket and a pill. Yeah, I popped perk. How the fuck is it a blanket and a pill? It turns off all the coldness sensors. You just feel nice and cozy. You're fun. Hi, I'm Nicole's Nicole. mom, and I'm You're on ready principal for day Lynn. two. Is someone going to kill me everything. day two? If so, absolutely. Why? What happened? Just like waking up in general hurts. And I got to deal True. with my brother who's still up from the night before eating a family box of anything. He can eat family-sized meals? How old is he? Like 26. He just freeloads off my mom. I mean, we kind of freeload too, but we're 16. It's cool when we do it. True. Exactly. I have to tell him that when I'm woken up by loud chewing noises. Is he fat? Do you know what ex-bodybuilder fat is? All right, we've heard so this one like headed? 50 times. All right, you said... You guys said go to photography class. There's a red room thing. Oh, well, we went to gym class last time anyway, so yes, we'll go to photo so photography. So to not make anyways. the intro to beginners photography too long, I'll simplify oh, it by dark saying room. I'll have your What's shots red room? looking superior by the end of this year. <laughs> Dude, why did I pick an art class? All these kids are annoyingly quirky. <laughs> so nice of you to join us, young lady. You sound way too happy to be actually happy. Quite observant. <laughs> to make up for your tardiness, perhaps you could help me out in the dark room. I need the chemicals cleansed for tomorrow's class. <laughs> you know what? This school might actually have a red room, though. It's pretty, it's pretty sketchy. <laughs> <coughs> like, it might really. We're in. Sorry, I didn't even catch your name. It's Nicole. What's yours? You can call me Mr. White, but my friends call me Mr. Shooter. Okay, Mr. White. So what's first? Well, you see, Nicole, I didn't actually call you in for chemical cleaning. Needed you alone to ask something uh, else. Here it comes. No, no, no. Mind out of the gutter, please. It's just you had a very striking look. Positively pure. I do a lot of freelance photography work outside of my teaching job here. Oh, no. How would you like to model for some community service hours? Oh, no, no way I'm getting naked on camera for the community. At least $500. Naked? No, absolutely not. You're a minor after all. Oh, so just wearing lingerie and baby oil got gotcha. you. When is it? No, not that either. The shoot is this weekend at White Wheat Farms. Should be a nice, wholesome, sunny September day. Okay, but the payment situation is... White wheat? You'll get a free meal of your hmm. choice. Find the most expensive restaurant in town and do it. Oh, hell yeah. You know what? Sure. Oh, splendid. A nice, pure outing. Just me and my new, beautiful student, ah. Nicole. I trust you'll brush up on your posing this week. Oh, no. Like, bend over to pick up the paper, so it shouldn't be too hard. Then it's settled. This weekend, a nice, bright shoot should really cleanse our minds of the muddied culture surrounding Ew. us. Don't you think? Whatever you say, dude. I'll be at home Googling expensive restaurants. And a clever girl at that. A bright mind to match your bright complexion. Uh. Okay, bye. That's it. Wonderful. 
Your pure skin just wonderfully fades. Oh my god, our shirt! Highlights of the week behind you. Is this like? Yeah, thanks. Some race shit. Did you talk about something other than skin? It's like a dermatology fever dream. Yeah, the skin thing. The shirt. When something catches my eye, I just can't let it go. The curse of being a photographer. Okay, so what's this thing on my shirt again? The Celtic logo or something? No, no, the Celtic cross. Just a graphic rich with heritage that complements the nice, wholesome imagery behind you. Whatever you say. So, are we done yet? And yes, we are. It was a pleasure. Wait, how much be are we getting paid for this? Because this shit's gonna come back around and ruin our life. Like <laughs> in a decade, we'll be canceled over this. We better be get. We gotta be pay getting paid real good for that. As you, Nicole. The pleasure was all yours. So there's a steakhouse on the other side of town and- Yes, yes, I'll hold up my end of the deal, don't worry. But before we leave, I just wanted to ask you, do you enjoy being white? Ah! I mean, not sure how white I'll be after standing in the sun all day. No, sorry. Allow me to rephrase the question. Do you love the white American culture? Are you a proud white woman? Are we still high on the perks? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yay. Yeah, free food, though. Yeah, totally love it. A lot, actually. Can we go now? <laughs> oh, that's wonderful to hear. Anything for free food. I trust your heritage is important to you as well. If I knew what it was, then absolutely. So great to find a like-minded student in my class. I love our race, and I'm proud of it. This is the first shoot of many, Nicole. Cool. Will I get paid next time? How would you like $50? Bitch! Did she do this and not get paid? This dumb fuck bitch. It seems out of character. You know what? I have a problem, actually. Because this is like the third or fourth time we've said, you got to pay us big money for that. And then we never get the money. Why are we not getting the money before we do the thing? Oh, wait. He did say we only get free food. And I happily agreed. Okay. Uh, well... Then fuck me. It was a shoot. It adds up. <laughs> Sweet, yeah. Anytime, any place. <laughs> now that I know you're on board for the racial purification of this country, <laughs> you deserve it. Oh. oh. My bad. So, I'm pretty <laughs> sure the photography teacher's Damn. a white nationalist. I said the tuna's good today, and you just replied with that. Remember how I told you? Bro, and you know we said, oh, take us to, a, like, the most expensive restaurant. And he probably took us to, like, Applebee's. Like, come on, dude. I just know it. I just know it wasn't worth it. And in ten years, when she's become a YouTuber or streamer or TikToker or however many years later that is, it's all going to come out and we're getting canceled. Do I did that photo shoot? But we'll get a whole new set of fans and we can just grift them. So maybe it's not the end of the world. With them? Yes, please, Brad. All for Applebee's, though. Think about that. All for Applebee's. Not worth it. Nope. Back again. No, it's not that. Just the whole time. Cracker Barrel. <laughs> that would have been better. He was saying this weird shit about whiteness and being white. I guess it fits. Mr. White's a white supremacist white nationalist isn't it the same thing white supremacists assume white culture is the correct culture white nationalists politicize that so damn Jekka knows a lot mr white is a white nationalist pretty much everyone who goes here is a white supremacist oh that makes sense does it am i racist if i say no honestly i don't give a shit this is these blurred children in the background do they know do they know about the game? Saying everyone here is a white supremacist. That's what Google told me last night. Well, if we have some KKK guy at our school, shouldn't we do something? Like what? Even if we told someone, they won't do anything. If being racist got you fired, like no one would have a job. Well, I'm kind of curious now. I think I'll go up and see what he's all about. Maybe catch him on something else. You coming with me? He knows you, right? Hmm. Non-racist girls got to stick together. I'd rather see if the janitor's selling Xanax. Ooh. Oh. 
Okay. Fight racism or drugs. Kelly. Oh, hey, Roman has just uh, donated two Canadian dollars through Super Chat. So I... Eh. Guess it's Xanax then. Thanks, Roman. Dude, I really don't want to get involved. You're smart enough. You can handle it. Are you saying <laughs> I'm that because so you're really sorry. Cool, or just because you don't want to go? Can it be both? <laughs> you're such a bitch. How? Wait a but second. But why can't why can't we get the Xanax and fight racism though? Why can't we do both? Why aren't we asking that question, huh? I don't want to see a white nationalist more than I already have to. You got me all worked up over this and you won't even dig into it with me. What kind of friend are you? I've known you for like a week. We're the only two pretty girls in this lunch block. We're gonna end up best friends anyway. And that right there is why your loyalty check isn't working. Whatever, fine. I'll see you after school. Yeah, may as well. I actually have some counselor meeting for new student integration. Oh, good luck with that. Why are you saying it like that? The counselor is... Well, you'll see. See, Nicole? Doesn't it just feel great to openly ah! talk about sex in a safe environment? No, actually. Not at all. Aren't you supposed to be asking me if I'm making friends or something? Eh, same old, same old. I prefer a different approach. Really getting into the dramatic psyche of our students. At your age, it's the number. Why did I choose to fucking take the Xanax? And here we are not taking the Xanax. Can we talk about that? Like if I would have chose fight racism, were we actually going to do that? Because I feel like I got tricked. I feel like we all got tricked. Number one thing on your mind. Talking about sex with a man 20 years older than me is the first thing on my mind. Merely a societal taboo. A social construct, if anything. Huh? Take homophobia, for example. That brand of hatred was brought on by other people. Nothing intrinsically wrong with homosexuality. But then what's the next taboo to be lifted? Let's say if you and me dated outside of school. Oh, Here boy. We go. Perhaps in our lifetime, a relationship with someone of Here my go. age and someone of yours wouldn't be so frowned upon. No, no. At Here we are. At the end of the day, love has no boundaries. Does that make sense? Are you dialed in here? No, I'm it's about different. To dial Shut the fuck up. Nonsense. What's wrong? Call him out. You work at a school and you're giving me the age is just a number speech. Shouldn't you do that on your court date? Sorry, I don't play tennis. Hilarious. Perhaps you're just not ready for an adult conversation. You're still growing after all. Light the pre-roll. as a young woman. Yeah, so I'm off limits. Are we done here? Well, one last food for thought. Your driver's license may say you're ah! still a girl, but your body knows you're a woman right now. Prime for oh, reproduction. No. What? Because I have a period? Not to get graphic, but yes. Nothing wrong with Help. that. It's natural. So I should have had a baby at 13 then? No, just intercourse at 13. The baby coming by the time you're 14. I'm leaving. Theoretically, of course. <laughs> Hmm. If she tells her parents, I'll just say she was acting out. Damn, we have a whole ass, oh, like... Hey. I was wondering where you... No, we have a whole ass sidekick right there. We could have been recording him. We could have got a lawsuit. And where's the Xanax? I would have chosen to fight racism if we weren't going to get drugs. Where? Yeah, the counselor had me held up in there for a while. He didn't... Uh... Defend pedophilia? He absolutely did. Yeah, he does that. Someone should say something, right? I would, but then I have to fill out paperwork, and honestly, they have me write enough in this place as it is. I know, yeah. So, how things go with Mr. White? Uh... I fucked up. I fucked up. I should have sa I should have been saving during choices. Although it's not bad. What's good about the RunPy engine is that you can skip through dialogues to get to parts you miss really quick. Okay, yeah, about that. So I was talking to him, kind of confronting him, and his arguments weren't that out there. I don't get it. He's a political extremist. How is he not out there? See, we said that, but like... He asked me why it's okay to do black oh pride God. and Mexican pride, but not white pride, and... I really didn't have an answer for him. Because... So you just kind of backed off then? 
Well, not exactly. I kept asking more and more about it, and we actually agreed on a lot. There's literally St. Patrick's Day. Close enough. He wants me to do a shoot with him this weekend for the White Pride Party's blog. And what'd you tell him? I said absolutely. Nothing wrong with being proud of your heritage. Why not? Plus 50 bucks for the day. Did he mention an ethno state for white people? He might have briefly gone into it. Mr. White kept telling me how pretty my skin was. I wasn't paying attention. What's an ethno state anyway? A country where all the non white races are kinda exterminated. Oh, it's probably not even that serious. All I know is I'm proud to be white. I feel like I'm on Twitter. <laughs> like, I feel like I'm on Twitter right now just hearing like tweets read out to me. <laughs> um, agree to disagree like a fence-sitting liberal. Ooh, tempting. Hmm, maybe it's not so bad after all. Oh. Oh. Do we be controversial and pick this one and become full grifter, right wing grifter? Sure. Tempting. Puppy Swearing Glasses has become a Pop Dart Pride member. Just came into the stream and what is this? Don't ask questions. Get in the car. No, I'm sorry, puppies. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, thank you. Eight months in a row. I appreciate it. We're going to be a fencing liberal. You know what? Forget it. Just do what you want. I'd rather have a white nationalist lunch friend than no friend at all. Nicole, you rock. You can't let some silly politics get in the way of us, right? Yeah, sure. It's not worth getting worked up over. Cool. I'll see you at lunch tomorrow. Bye. Who can tell me who our third president was? Show of hands. JFK. Yes? Thomas Jefferson? Very good. One of the more interesting presidents of the 19th century for a variety of reasons. Yeah, he had sex with slaves. Gross. Quiet down. <laughs> oh my now, lord. who can tell me Jefferson's biggest achievement? True though. I, I just no read that on okay, Twitter Nicole. too. Huh? No, I'm sorry. Huh was not one of his achievements. You were close though. He'd get them pregnant. Oh my Hear god. Hear how no one's laughing? Just answer the question. At least try. What was it again? Thomas Jefferson's biggest achievement. What was it? Um. Thomas Jefferson. What did he even do? <laughs> like, George Washington cut down a cherry tree. Um. But what did he do? I don't know. Sorry, couldn't tell you. Come on, you didn't even try. Did it have something to do with the slave sex thing he said? No, please stay on subject. Because when you think about it, he's the first president to have an interracial relationship. Wait, he wrote the Declaration of Independence? That crossed my mind. I was like, no, I think he just signed it. But he actually did write it. Okay. Well, the more you know. Cherry tree? What? Did Abe Lincoln not cut down a cherry tree? That might make him the least racist president of all time until Obama gets elected. He literally owns slaves. Obama owns slaves? I guess we'll <laughs> never have a non-racist president. Uh, no, Thomas Jefferson. Uh, yeah, I was joking. Thank you for derailing yet another class, Nicole. Tell that to the cross kid. He said the slave shit first. He made the Louisiana purchase. Nicole, get that it was together. a good purchase. The government forces me to be here, and you expect me to try at volleyball? God damn it, our team keeps fucking losing. So fucking gay! What's your problem? You fucking whore, shut up! Hey, coach, are we just... Okay, no discipline for that one, gone. I didn't get into lacrosse camp, such bullshit! Well, maybe just get better at it? No, you don't understand. Like, there's all these dumbass, underprivileged student passes. They're doing so many that, like, 20% of the sports are automatically filled. All these Mexican kids act like America's so racist when they got the fucking red carpet rolled out for everything. You mean, like, affirmative action? I think that's what they call it. I call it fucking gay. Who's with me? No, no. Here we are. Fuck me. Oh, this one's exhaust. This, one, this route's been exhausting. 
Like, I feel like it's just Twitter. This is just Twitter being yelled at me in annoying voices. It's exhausting. Say you love rap music. Oh, sure. Hey, you want to calm down and just listen to rap music or something? Everyone in their fucking rap music now? Oh, God. Whatever happened to classic rock or, or country? You know, like real music. Classic rock's classic for a reason. It sucks now. Oh, yeah, you probably don't even know where to find it. Where do you find it? Off graphic tees at failing anchor stores? No. Yes, fuck you. I want rap music off the radio so wigger kids like you could suffer. How am I a wigger? Just like, <laughs> liking black people or something, whatever. <gasps> That's beside the point. Just get your oh grades up, Nicole. Oh my god, up, I'm Nicole. allergic to the uh -huh. racism of hell. And also, <laughs> if you could stop writing death to pedophiles on all the whiteboards, that would be great. Promoting violence is so vulgar. But don't pedophiles deserve to die? Nicole, no one deserves to die. Wow, that's really peaceful of you. I used to be as brash as you at a young age, but then I found a release so satisfying it drained every drop of anger I had. Was it pedophilia? Oh, how dare you! You didn't say no. That, that's enough for today. Kindly leave. Finally, goddamn. She almost got me that time. Well, I did not find this game. Y'all recommended it to me. Not all of you, but a good amount. What does that say about some of you? <laughs> now, this has been wild. I'm not crazy about this particular route, but this has certainly uh, been a day. Oh, cool. You joined too? Yeah, it's my heritage. I have to support it. But do you think the cross is kind of stretched out on my shirt? No, it looks fine. I don't know. I'll probably see Mr. White to trade it in for a swastika shirt. I could have sworn there were. You just you wanted last a bus sim hey, stream. Nicole, where's your heritage shirt? <laughs> My what? You know, to support this grand cause. Grand oh, cause. Oh no, not oh, all the Jeffrey, shirts. Making it sound weird. What we mean is like, oh god, we're fucking down for our heritage. You what know? did we do? Why would I care about that? Why did when you, you guys? About why did you guys tell me to go to the red room? <laughs> It, everyone's kind of against us as white people, you know? There's nothing more punk rock than being white. The only people in punk rock are white. Yeah, so come on, Nicole. You gonna join or what? You're the last girl who hasn't signed up for the white pride party. Oh my god! We love a pretty girl like you to become one of us. Sorry, um, what are the benefits? Benefits of what exactly? White nationalism? Oh like, what's no. in it for me? Why? Well, you get these kick-ass shirts for one. I know what's in it for me. Before everyone just avoided me. Like I was a freak or something. But then Jekka saw me crying in the hall alone and invited me to the white pride party. Now I really belong somewhere. And you can belong too. Oh. So for you, it's a club for easy social acceptance? Well, kinda. But everybody already hits on me. I'm not desperate for social acceptance. I True. guess there's that. So, let me ask this. Now that you're in this club, do girls talk to you now? Not really. But the guys, Kelly, they always talk to Avocado me now. Avocado has just donated two Canadian dollars through Super Chat. RIP monetization. Rip. Worried face. Rip. Like for fun? To socialize? Or to give you pride party orders? And thank you, I appreciate it. Wait, isn't Jeffrey Asian? Uh, well the orders are fun, so kind of both. Actually, like, I don't, I think I just made a mation in my head. I don't know. I don't know what he is. He's just a weeb. Oh. The whole school's white. Oh. Oh. I was like, why? <laughs> okay. Get a video. No. Hey. Hey. This is like when we exposed all the predators at the school. We're playing the long con. We're going to get this recorded. We're going to expose everyone. So, what are the orders? Do you guys do a bunch of chants or something? For sure, dude. Yeah, we could show you some if you like. Well, I was wondering if I could maybe take a video of it? Just so I could review at home and practice? Oh, so you're joining? I didn't say that, but maybe this could convince me. Alright, you better start rolling. Aryan brothers, assemble! Oh god. Are we doing the chant? Hell yeah, we're doing the chant. 
White Pride Worldwide! White Pride yeah, Worldwide! Yeah, awesome! White You're pride doing worldwide. great, guys! So how about it, Nicole? You gonna join? I don't know. You really oh made a convincing argument with this. Uh, can I take this video home and watch it a few times? Sure. I can come over and do more chants, too, if you'd like. Uh, mm -hmm. no, it's okay. <laughs> We're good. Thanks, fucking weirdos. Sickos. Okay, let's see what the Nation of Islam forums have to say about this. Oh, awesome. boy. Spicy. So, right after I uploaded that video to the NOI forums, it was immediately shared everywhere. Shared to the point of Minister Farrakhan seeing it and ordering a full-scale arson assault on the entire Jesus school. Christ. He kind of just posted that, and I'm not even sure if it was the real Farrakhan, you know, but I called in sick anyway. Sucks to be in the white pride party. All right, well. I, I got everyone burned. There you go. I saved the day yet again. We defeated it. We defeated the racism. Guys were like, why didn't you go choose to fight it at first? Nope. We made sure it really popped off. <laughs> Jack died. <laughs> Not Cheka dying. <laughs> Poor Cheka. <laughs> Why is that so funny? <laughs> Shouldn't it be? <laughs> Hi, I'm Cheka, and I just burned to death. <laughs> That's very terrible. All right, hold on. Make out. No, 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 no. I, I could show you enough to demote prescription pills. Oh. So where are you headed? Quite observant. You'll get a free meal of your choice. Fuck that. See, I feel really bad about this, but sorry, I can't. Your pitch was so good too. Oh well. No hard feelings, Nicole. Other route. I'd love to make it up to you and do some cleaning in here anyway. Oh, thanks. I need to get back to my class introduction. While I'm out there, maybe you could reorganize the developers. No problem. Thanks. No, thank you. Why are you guys okay, saying having prescription at least one of these pills? should get me fucked up, right? Oh, because it randomly shouted it. All right. Maybe. So, it's been a few months- Oh wait, I was supposed now, to go- Now, Nicole! Yes, Nicole. Do tell. Oh my Did god, if this really on. happened, I'm not very fond- Wait, that might have been interesting too, though. What should we do? That kind of looked like it was gonna be interesting. No mistake. Out. No, no, there no, was no, no, Jekka no, no. drama. I, I show you around. Like, like a school- I mean, look. We fought racism last time. We could do it again, but what was that going on? Tour, you want to do that? Back you to that. that. We're gonna get the Jekka drama. Enough to demotivate an elephant. I got prescription pills. Prescription so pills. Quite observant. To make up for your, you'll get a free meal of your choice. See, I feel really bad about this, but sorry, I can't. Your pitch was so good, too. Oh, well, no hard feelings, Nicole. I'd love to make it up to you and do some cleaning in here anyway. Oh, thanks. I need to get back to my class introduction. While I'm out there, maybe you could reorganize the developers. No problem. Thanks. No, thank you. Okay, huffing at least one of these should get me fucked up, right? So, it's been a few months since we moved. How's school going? Oh my god, I thought we didn't have arms for a second. I, they were like blending into the background for me. I thought we were like a nugget. I was like, what happened? Like, academically or socially? Everything, anything. Honestly, it's going pretty good. Oh, that's great to hear. I know moving schools can be hard. 
And if I cared, it absolutely would be. But mom, I figured out that if you just don't engage with other people's emotions or desires, nothing's a burden. Excuse me? Like, I'll put it like this. Anytime a guy asks for my company, asks me out, asks for anything, and I make decisions entirely for myself, not concerned with their feelings, there's no stress. All right. Now, Nicole. I kind of wanted to just skip that small part, but that's okay. Wait, what did I click to get to the last? It was a passive, passive aggressive eye roll to get both me and Jekka in trouble, right? Okay, fine. Wonderful. Just want to make As sure. I was saying, you can't yeah. talk like that to her. I can talk any way I like, Jessica. That's Jessica. not my name. See? You don't respect any of the girls. A guy could just whip his dick out in here and you just politely say, that's enough. You're on thin ice right now. That's enough. You're on Get your, your dick back right in. Because you couldn't make it as a photographer. <laughs> I heard it was Damn. only three. That's it. Both of you have detention this afternoon. Great. Worth. I feel like I see you two every week now. Swear to God, it wasn't even our fault. What she said, except for the swear to God part. I like to think God isn't keeping tabs on 17-year-old girls. Oh, so in your spiritual worldview, God only keeps tabs on fully matured women? Yeah, Miss Lynn. Back that divine ass up. Oh, oh, my God. When it comes to repeat offenders, it's no longer a them problem. It's a you problem. And? Yeah, I really don't see what you're getting at. Would either of you like to explain to me why you're in my office from photography yet again? Nicole? What? Yes, Nicole. Do tell. Lie, lie, and lie. He didn't already tell you? Oh, he did. I'm just curious to hear your side of the story. And Mr. White said? Said you were talking out of turn with extreme vulgarity. Well, yeah, you would too if he was groping you all over mid-lecture. Excuse me? Yeah, what? Mr. White is a pervert and he's been pulling this shit for like years now. He gropes now. us during really class. Now. Oh, you don't believe me? Your friend Dear Jessica God. here was there too, and also seems quite surprised at your claim. Fire him. Well, she's just in shock call from the years police. of abuse, right? You could call it that. Uh-uh, I see what's going on here. Just because I'm an openly feminist woman in power doesn't mean I'll believe any girl who walks in with a last-minute accusation. Well, I guess you're just a non-feminist woman in power because I'm catching ours left and right from this fucking guy and you don't even believe me. Oh, would you like me to call your parents then? It's so serious, they should know too, don't you agree? Oh my god. Uh, you know, yeah, do it. I'll be in the back room then. What are you doing? Not getting in trouble? What if she calls my parents too over the shit? I don't want to deal with this, Nicole. Relax, I'll just tell everyone he threatened to kill you if you squealed. True. Like Juilliard, I can't fake that. Look, she probably won't even call yours anyway. Don't freak out over it. Let's hope you're right. I'll take it to court if I have to. Okay, Nicole, sure. Sure. Nicole, why was your principal on the phone telling me you may or may not have been sexually assaulted? Why the fuck is she yelling at us? Excuse me, mother? Why are you yelling at me about that? Oh, that. Uh, it was probably just an April Fool's prank. It's October. No, yeah, I know that. It's actually school pride week where we just do the holidays all fucky. Thursday's Rosh Hashanah. Could I pass for Jewish? What bush are you beating around here? Okay, fine. My photography teacher was getting really touchy-feely with, uh... Touchy-feely where? Where did he touch you? My bush! My, my essential bush. areas. Yes. Are you being serious with me? If not, you're in big trouble. Well, in that case, Mom, I wouldn't joke about this. His fingers were like in. <gasps> I believe you, sweetheart. Oh. Oh, finally, she's not a fucking bitch. Awesome. You rock, Mom. So oh, dear Christ. What's for dinner? But if this really happened, I'm not very fond of your principal's dismissive tone. I never thought we'd have to do this at a school so nice, but I'm calling a lawyer. Double down! No, wait, you're, you're actually gonna do something about it? Aren't we broke? Oh, I just tell you that so you never ask me to buy you things. This is serious. Well, what wow. the fuck? I mean, you know good lawyers? <laughs> I've been married eight times. I'm well connected. Oh. Well, good. Let's pin Mr. White oh. in his child molesting ways. How exactly does he even 
isolate you? There's so many people there as it is. Isolate? I don't get it. Well, he has to get you girls alone somehow to have his way. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, no, he just does it right in the middle of class. Why? You could have said he took us to the dark room. It isn't technically a lie. Why is she doing that? You're joking. Yeah, just grabbing titties with no shame. He threatens to kill us if we tell anyone. <laughs> that is unfucking believable I know. There's like 29 of us. So that's a whole lot of killing. You know what? I'm just seeing red right now. I will spare no expense to make sure this pervert's under the jail. So, like, Nicole. <laughs> all we had to say was the dark room. He did get creepy with us, in, with us in the dark room, too. He did not grope us, though. He did ask to take pictures of our pureness, though, which could be interpreted in a few different ways. In your own words, what happened at school on the day of the 18th? Yeah, okay, so I'm just doing my makeup in class, not bothering anyone or anything, and Mr. White had a huge problem with that. I see. Go on. I feel like our lawyer probably would have said, maybe not that skirt, girl. His face was totally <laughs> calm while he proceeded to flip maybe the whole not that desk one. over. And it's an art class, so the table's huge. Big enough for four kids. Maybe a little shorter. Really now? Yeah, he grabbed me to a standing position, getting right behind and grinded against me. In front of all the students, too. <laughs> then his hands started massaging my breasts. Stop. It was so... Wait, I I'm sorry. One hand on both of them. Yeah. I hope the jury notes these logistical inaccuracies. Well, see, I'm a tiny 17-year-old minor, and his man hands were more than big enough to wrap around half my body. Fine, then. Continue. So then he's poking his tongue all over oh, my neck and whispering oh things no. I'd rather not repeat. You're under oath now, Nicole. Huh. Well, you asked for it. He called me his voluptuous teen property mm. and said my sexual willingness would pull a fine ransom on the black market. <gasps> all right, all right, and now- uh, No, this is hard. Oh no! Yet again, Jeffrey Epstein, school for girls. This school is so fucked up. Oh wait, she's lying about all of that. But it doesn't even matter because he was creepy! And everyone is creepy at the school. Keep going. This is quite the imagination you have, but really, people? Are we going to believe this charade when the schools show no other evidence of misconduct from its faculty? You have a lot of explaining to do. We'll wait. Ride it. So just because no one said anything means it isn't happening? You all have internet and texting now. Surely it would have gotten out. Wrong. Even if someone did say something, who's better connected? The 16-year-old girl who doesn't hang out at the local sports bar? Or some dipshit with a whistle who knows 12 synonyms for quarterback? And what's the implication here? Men listen to other men? Male teachers, male superintendent, male security guards, male everything. Male everything. However, a female principal? <gasps> When you look like Miss Lynn, you could be governor, let alone principal. True. Are you telling the jury she's only in that position because of the physical favors she can offer as a woman? No, it's not a woman thing, it's a she's attractive thing. You think ugly bitches get handouts? Could we please show the jury a faculty headshot of Principal Lynn? That's why you guys don't get handouts. What the fuck does this have to do with anything? You're in the court of law, please act like it. You're beating around the bush. The gym teacher has asked me out like three times since I've been here, and the counselor gives every girl a lecture on normalizing pedophilia. Now surely you don't believe this? Oh, let me read the last few texts from Coach Colby then. Hey sexy, you up? How deep is your throat? Ah! I want to murder my wife and shower you in the life insurance payout. Yes. And they still have this guy? Why is he able to be on the payroll? Settle down. Mr. Colby was fired and incarcerated months ago, promptly after a few reports. You just said no one ever reported anything like five minutes ago. Damn it. No, no, here we are. Oh, Coach just texted me again. 
Hey, honey, just got out of jail. Good news, they're giving me my job back so we can still hang out. Nicole, you've been my hardest cross-examination yet. Oh. This courtroom needs to calm the fuck down. You need to get yelled at. Well, you've just been a bitch in general. Go iron your Mickey Mouse tie. Dang, Mickey Mouse tie. It's been about a year since the trial. We won 500000 in the civil suit, and I immediately dropped out and moved to L.A. Dressing nice and maintaining my new expensive drug habit is cool, but the school's tax dollars paying for it is so hot. I met another Nicole while I was out here. She's kind of famous. <gasps> Nicole Richie? Wow. Oh my god. We got the good ending. That, see, now we can end it. We can end it on a good note. Not one of these fucked up endings. Because, oh my god. What do you guys think about that game? First and foremost... <laughs> it's definitely edgier than most. Uh, it was interesting. It was fun to laugh at all the absurdity of it. There's also a sequel, so we'll cover it at some point. Jekka, I like you changed your name to Jekka. Smart. What are we playing tomorrow? I don't know. Maybe we'll do the sequel. It would make sense to do the sequel. Yeah, that school needed a deep investigating. Exactly. That was sketchy. I like the dialogue. Specifically the things in the third. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I was going to say in my third playthrough. Now that one was the worst. I just felt like I was on Twitter listening to like racist people. Like I get they were trying to make fun of them. But like after you see it like all the time on social media, it's just kind of like. Uh, bleh, bleh. Yeah, voice acting was good. Actually, I think, um, I'm pretty sure. Who's Mr. Burladay? Oh, he's the guy who, like, stopped us with the drugs. He's played by Lyle Rath, who I've streamed with before. I stream with him and Kitty sometimes. He was in this. I wonder if, th if there's more you can do with that character. Because it just seemed to be the drug thing. Obviously, I didn't see everything yet. I didn't find this game. I saw it going around. I think, well, I think I saw the new game, the sequel going around on like a Reddit clip or something. And then a bunch of you kept mentioning this game. So I finally looked into it. I kind of like games like this too, though. It's like... Sometimes I like the shorter games that have, like, various different endings, and then you can just do as much as you want, but, like, it's not going to take forever to get through one playthrough. You mention it? Nice. Yeah, this was... <laughs> it was an experience. But, yeah, this game... is. Did the sequel just come out? Or did someone, like, popular play it and then... Everyone started playing it again.
There's also that Korean dating sim. I think Korean or is it Chinese dating sim? I don't quite remember. There's another one that I've seen kind of going around. That looks interesting. An FMV one. Baldur's Gate 3. I know, I, I do want to play it. I don't know when. I still have to do my Starfield stuff too. There's so many games. There's a video called Kelly Pop being Kelly Pop and it looks like it could be an older Kelly. Oh, I think I got sent that before, yeah. It seems to ring a bell if it's like a super old video. Quick playthrough of the entire GTA story. Like sometimes I want to like replay a game and then I'm like, oh wait, that game's like 30 hours. But I also like long games sometimes too. It'd be kind of cool. I would love options in games sometimes, like, where you could take out filler missions. That's not every game, though. But, like, something like GTA. Although, I guess you could just do story missions. So it does kind of have that. Fatty Bear! Oh, man! I gotta replay Fatty Bear. Kelly? Chris Yolo Bitch has just donated 20 Danish kroner through Super Chat. Mother Kelly, Baldur's Gate 3 live streaming? Hard. I don't know when it will be, but it will be. I will do it. I just don't know when. Thank you, Chris. I appreciate that. Yeah, honestly, the ending where I got the whole school killed was probably the best ending. No, I, I like the, this ending where we got all the money. I don't feel that bad about ruining that guy's life and lying. Fuck it. This game sort of feels like it was for the girls. It does. It does. We had all the power in this game. We took everyone out. I feel like, yeah, I'm working on dating sims, but they're like, I don't know, they're like passion projects for me. Like, I don't know, I'm very slowly working on them. And there's a few different like ideas I have that I just work on occasionally. But I did a lot of writing recently for my top model like one. That was good. Mortuary assistant. Uh, I played that on Twitch like a year ago, maybe. It was fun. I think I got the oh, shitty ending though on it. So maybe I could replay it at some point. I like touching the dead bodies in that game. <laughs> I'm just joking. Ew. <laughs> uh. The Bratz game, I probably will not finish. The Bratz game felt like it was just gonna be like, f find three squirrels in all the missions or something. I don't know. Is Trace here? I want to play Sprung and Trace recommended an emulator. But I don't remember. I like wrote it down somewhere, but I can't remember where I wrote it down. What are good emulators, guys? If I want to play like the game Sprung or like the Herbs. 
No, I didn't play all the Chilla's art games yet. There's like a fuck ton. Which we will play more. I don't think I did night delivery. I did night security. I was like, wait, did I do night delivery? But no, it was night security I did of the Chillas game. Gorman Blood Bunny. Lethal Company. I see that Lethal Company is like super popular right now. But I don't know if I'm into it. It does look fun when the little like the scary shit like comes after you. Maybe I need to look at it a little more. Oh, the French Revolution visual novel. I think I bought it. Hold on. Did I buy it? It's on my radar. Oh, yeah. I got on my wish, wish list waiting for a sale. Corpse Party. What's Corpse Party? I... <laughs> It's not, wait, how old is Corpse Party? All right. Hey, Did I play this Summer before? Summer Evans has just donated $2 through Super Chat. I love Kaylee's cab service or goofing around in GTA. Thank you, Summer. Um, Every time I try to play GTA on stream, someone like harasses me and like enters my lobbies and freezes the game. So I don't know. I mean, I could try again, but like literally like the last three times I played GTA, it happened. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I was like some GTA weirdo. <laughs> oh, GTA Vice City might be fun. Some of the old GTAs. There's a lot we can do. Oh, I downloaded Stray and I added the <laughs> I added the mod where when it meows it yells Jason from Heavy Rain. But I feel like it's going to get annoying really quick. But I did do that cuz I was wanting to do that soon or play that soon. Play the second Outlast? I don't think I've played the second Outlast, have I? I think I played the first one. Is there a third Outlast? Maybe I played the second one and not the third one. I literally don't know. You've played the first? Yeah, I think I've played the first Outlast. Like, maybe it was on Twitch, though, and, like, the VOD is long gone because they deleted it. Resident Evil Village, I played. Is that with the big titty lady? I played that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I played through that. Wait, did I finish it? I think I finished it. Contraband, please check it off. Played. We're definitely going to do more dating sims. This was definitely not... This was like everyone's a predator dating sim. It was scary. It wasn't even really a dating sim. 
It was like, get the predator arrested, Sim. Eleanor loving wife or dirty whore. I can never play that again. We're gonna have to like go up. We're gonna have to stream on porn sites if I ever want to play those games. <laughs> Twitter, so yeah, the third playthrough was definitely Twitter Simulator. Oh, you finished the growing up game? Yeah, I wanted to, I actually, I kept that installed. I wanted to replay it at some point. We, maybe we should go back to that at some point or replay it. It was fun. It was cute. A little grindy at times, but you know, not horrible. I was liking it. Only, does OnlyFans have streams? I think you do it on like, I'm trying to think where people stream like games like that. Maybe Fansly, is that something? What's that? Oh, yep. One of those like 18 plus like websites. Maybe I can do it. I'll think about it, but n kick won't work. I don't think kick allows that anymore. Cause I, at first I was like, oh, maybe kick. It's similar enough to like Twitch. There's a second how to full game. Wait, really? have porn people play games with you. Yeah, I definitely want to play some more choices games too. Those games could get a little crazy. Sometimes they're like wholesome. Depending. I did see that Omega was shut down. It seems like another, like, similar thing popped up, though. I keep seeing clips of, like, streamers yelling at kids on it. <laughs> Wish I was joking. But I'm not. Omegle just did not seem appealing to me whatsoever. There's a Barbie game where you have to seduce and kill the bad guy. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Really? I know. I want to do another Desperate Housewives series too, but like I cannot get the damn game to work. Even with like, I found, mul I found multiple patches online and none of them work. I'll keep trying. But, I don't know, it, it hates me, it doesn't work, but then a lot of the comments on the patch pages, like, people seem to have similar issues, too. Maybe I could play it on, like, an older computer. And it might work then, like, on one of my old laptops, maybe. Barbie fixed an anal prolapse game. That's probably a game on those weird kid websites, like girl webs girl game websites. Games for girls. Dude, why were those why are the like girl games websites so fucking sketchy? Like they actually are. Like, I think they mostly have to do with, like, search terms. Like, because, yeah, the else, there's so much else's stuff. 
whatever's pop like super super popular and then just like weird but some of they're so weird and the mobile game ads why are so many so weird they're wild although i kind of appreciate when mobile game app or mobile games ads are weird because at least they're interesting then Which is, Kelly. And you always end up. Oh, hey, right. Roman has just donated two Canadian dollars through Super Chat. Any streaming plans for 2024? Yes, yeah, ban Roman. No, I'm joking. Um. Uh, yes, I have a whole notebook of plans for 2024. I just hope I I kind of had a chaotic year this year. I don't mind how 2024 will be, but I'm hoping for a little less chaos in my life, specifically. What are you guys hoping for in 2024? Read us the notebook. Actually, I wanted to talk to you guys about the notebook. Like, how many of you read the book? Because I the, the book fucking ends with those old people getting freaky. It's like... The husband reads the wife the story and the, the wife has Alzheimer's. And so, like, sh you know, you go through the book and he's reading. He always reads their story to her, right? And then, you know, she, as you're going through, oh, she doesn't really remember him. That's real sad. Oh, my God. I'm so sad. And then he just keeps reading their love story to her. And, like, slowly she starts remembering more and more. And then by the end of the book, she's like, oh, my God, I remember you. Uh ah. And then they like, and then it talks about her giving him a hand job, and that's the end of the book. Am I wrong? Like, what the fuck was the ending of the notebook? Like, that's literally the end of the book, the notebook, the book version. I don't think that, I don't remember that happening in the movie version. I mean, I think maybe they got a little freaky in the movie version, but it's like. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the ending of the notebook book version that's another thing that <laughs> that's another thing that lives rent free in my mind No, it definitely happens. I, I'm pretty sure that happens. You read the freakiest shit. It's literally the notebook. It's like this super romantic book. And then the movie, like, that everyone liked. But the book version was a little more hardcore. <laughs> I swear I did not. Did any of you read the notebook? I think you're talking about a college humor video called The Hand Job. No, they probably did it because it happens in the fucking book and it's abs it's absurd. No, I'm I'm going to find that book. <laughs> What if I made that up in my head, though, and that doesn't happen? That's pretty weird. It definitely is alluded to, though. I'm pretty sure. You guys can't read? You read some fucked up <laughs> notebook fan fiction. <coughs> no, it's like she reaches her hands down. Like, in a more, like literary way <laughs> maybe it's not the ending though it's at some point though for sure Nah, nah, nah. 
All right. It definitely fucking happens. But, of course, this article doesn't say... It says the pair... Oh, yeah, spoiler alert. Together in Allie's hospital bed, the pair comforted each other. Allie asked no whether he believed their love could create miracles, further elaborating that she wanted their love to allow them to pass together. Noah stated that he thought it could. And they totally do! I swear, it then says in you know, various ways they get freaky. But then they die. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly? Audrey313 has just donated $1.99 through Super Chat. Didn't you read Flowers in the Attic? Is that what... <laughs> Flowers in the Attic is... Is that where the brother and sister... <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, I'm not. This it's. Hold on. What is this? What is this? No, I don't know what that is. That actually might be the college humor video. Sally wasn't exaggerating. It's huge. <laughs> The grandma at the end of the fucking notebook. <laughs> Thanks, Blab. Thanks, Blab. Because I was, like, in high school, and I remember being shocked. Like, oh, my God, these are fucking old people. What are they doing? Stop. In my book? Why? <laughs> Trace! There's Trace! Trace, I have a question. You had mentioned what emulator to use before, and I wrote it down, but I cannot find where I wrote it down. So yeah, I was wondering what's the best, like, what's the best emulator to use for like, you know, Sprung, the herbs, all that good stuff. Thanks, Trace. Appreciate it. Old people can't tug cock. I mean, I understand they can now, but I was like in high school at the time and I was disturbed. Oh yeah, the Yakuza Zero game. Is, did you say Zero or O? Oh. Looked interesting. I have the new Judgment game too that I want to play. It looked pretty good. It was like some, I think, crime at like a girl's school. Hopefully not like this game. <laughs> but who knows? And I think you like solve it. But I didn't like I don't I didn't play it because I was like maybe I'll stream this sometime and then I just didn't play it. it was literally a tender love story. Why did we have to read old people's like that's exactly how I felt though too when I was reading it. I was like, I did not need to know that. All right, thank you, Trace. You played a game where you upskirt a teen girl recently? Oh dear Christ. Wait, isn't that young jury sim or whatever? <laughs> Adam, don't admit that on the internet.
You must have graduated from this school. It was the ending of the notebook. I swear to God, it was not a fever dream. I did not make that up. I'm gonna find. I'm gonna find my. I don't know if I still have the notebook, but if I can find the book, I will let you guys know. I swear, I will find. I will give you a citation <laughs> of the exact moment. It sounds like you missed an interesting stream, though. Yup, you did. <laughs> It was pretty wild. Obscure? I think I played Obscure. <laughs> I don't remember that part about it. Read live on stream. If I find it. When I find proof, I will. Kelly's gonna read us the notebook hand job scene. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Um oh you need the credits. Look at that. We have balls now. I don't think they made a noise though. Which was sad. Appreciate all the support tonight, guys. Maybe we'll play the sequel to of this tomorrow. I wonder if that one's somehow even edgier. Could it be? It was pretty edgy. But it was a wild time. See you guys. Much love.